Didn't get enough sleep. Overslept. Rushed to get everything ready. Didn't eat. Haven't had a coffee. Let's play a really hard game. Yep. What could go wrong? What could go wrong? Just eat, dude. Oh, let me just snap my fingers and just get food just to appear in front of me. Okay. All right. Yeah, just just get food, Lamayo. Someone in chat was just saying before stream started that they've played the game and they're all done and they think it's a, a genuine 8.5 out of 10. Um, I think that that's a pretty fair score. I think I would probably weight it a little higher than that because I uh, or rate it very a little higher than that because I have a higher weighting on boss fights. But I do see a lot of flaws in, or not a lot of flaws, a lot of shortcomings in the exploration side of the game that I think could be done better. Yeah, so, hmm. Sorry for yesterday, I wasn't trying to piss you off with the expanded state. No, that's fine, don't piss me off. When I said that at the end of stream, I so said chat's being weird. It wasn't like chat's being annoying or anything like that. It was just, just it, it's, I meant what I said, like literally, the chat was just being kind of weird, it was strange. There was like a weird vibe in chat at the end of the last hour. I was playing Dark Souls for the first time and talking with Jazz. They told me it was weird that I hadn't upgraded my weapon by Quaylag. Is this true? Yeah, it's very weird. Yeah, mm-hmm. Extre extremely weird. What weapon are you using? Like, I'm surprised you killed gargoyles. Weird. How long did that take you? Beating gargoyles without upgrading your weapon is extraordinarily difficult. I've done it, but not on my first time through. An axe? What kind of axe? Like a big axe? I don't know what the base damage is on the axe. Maybe that's good enough that you that you powered through. Axes are pretty strong. Can't you do quail out before gargoyles? Yeah, you can, but I think that most people the first time aren't going to be doing that. Are we going to complete the game today? I don't know. My guess is that there's at least two bosses left in one major area, so if I get stuck on a boss... How are you doing on this fine day? Sounds like a rough one. Eh, it's not rough, it's just, uh, just the schedule's behind. When I say stuff like I, I didn't get a lot of sleep or whatever, that doesn't mean that it's it's a bad time. It's just uh just just reality, you know? Like it's not really bothering me all that much. It's just I'm tired. The bosses left I find the hardest. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> what? What do you mean? <laughs> We've done enough hard bosses. It's one of the basic axes, I don't know the name, it has the twelve strength requirement. Also they said it was strange I went through depths before Quaylag. What? That's not strange. That's what you're supposed to do. I missed last stream. The game is still Game of the Year contender? Yes. I mean, I sure hope the hardest boss is coming at the end of the game. Yeah, I know, but I'm, you know, hyping it up that I'm feeling challenged. Right before the streamer died. Hi, Joe. I tried Liza P on Game Pass after your streams. The game is indeed pretty fun. Really like the combat. Glad you like it. It's really good, huh? I'm surprised. I'd like to go through and see what people's major criticisms are online of it after we're done. Uh, if we if we do finish the game today, I don't think we're gonna have time for it, but I don't think we're gonna finish today. Um, I don't think there's anything wrong with the dodge but the dodge roll, and that's the major criticism I've seen so far. But just because I don't think that's correct doesn't mean other criticisms criticisms don't have merit. Maybe there's something weird about the dodge that I'm not appreciating. Hmm. We did that already. We went here. All right, there's a really hard enemy in this house that has killed me twice. Maybe better with an adapt, 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 adaptability uh, stat. There we go. Oh, it's gonna be a long stream. You know what would be a killer video idea? Going through, going through Lies of P and being like, like comparing it to all of uh, FromSoft's worst mistakes in their in their uh, games and being like, yeah, this is a, a shallow imitation because you know if they were really good developers of Souls like they would include the adaptability stat or. <laughs> Or put a put a big dead zone in the middle of the character's movement, you know? <laughs> it would just turn into a roast of Dark Souls 2, though, wouldn't it? Not that FromSoft games aren't fantastic, by the way. They really are, but I think that would be funny. I'm glad that they tried the adapt adaptability thing just to see if it worked or not. Because maybe it would have been a good idea. Maybe some people like it. I personally don't. I don't like having this debt to, to start the game before I can dodge properly. Oh man, this guy's really hard. Could you explain what you like from exploration party games? I personally don't like having to comb through random corners to make sure I'm not missing something. So in these kind of games, I like 
uncovering secret areas. So I like exploring, pushing against the seams of an area, and then being rewarded with, oh, this opens up to somewhere else, and maybe there's an optional side path with an optional boss, or a little, a little loop through a major area that isn't just like a couple rooms. That's what I mean. I like that kind of thing in these in these games. Um, when it comes to that's that's with the Dark Souls 3 kind of uh, exploration. Dark Souls 1 has that, but also feels like you're uncovering a lot of different routes through through a world that makes sense. It's internally consistent, uh, it's coherent, and that's where exploration comes into it too, where you feel like you're mapping it together. There have been a couple of times in this game where through level design we're like, oh, we're back here, or we went through an elevator and we're like, oh, we're back here. But it doesn't feel the same way because everything is really linear in this game, so it doesn't feel like you're exploring. Like, in Dark Souls 1, especially if you pick the Master Key at the beginning, you can legitimately wander around and get to a lot of different places before you even do anything major in the game's progression. Whereas here, like, there's no way you're gonna get past the Parade Master and do anything. Or, Parade Master's not fair because it's the first area, but you're not gonna get past the Scrap Watchman. Oh man, he's really hard. Is he a boss? Alright, so quick, quick, and then delayed. Alright, he has a lot of damage, and uh, his attacks come pretty fast. Okay, probably not the best enemy to start the stream off of. Let's keep going. What's your biggest criticism of the game right now? Um, this fight, this fight sucks. From the bits I've seen, some people really don't seem to really get or engage with all the combat systems, so they don't try to parry or guard attacks to punish dodges really hard, and they don't also pay close attention to animations for the tells of the bullshit attacks. Maybe, yeah. That sounds about right. You're definitely supposed to use both. You're not supposed to just rely just on the guards or the parries or just the dodges. Um, I've been focusing on the deflections, so maybe that's why I've had a better time. But I have been dodging a significant amount. If I just tried to dodge, I think I'd be having a bad time. Um, biggest criticism of the game so far, uh, probably it's going to be about exploration, yeah. Level design exploration, there's been a lot of enemy variety, I think it's fine there. It's been, the bosses have been the highlight, so I have no real big criticisms there. Um, some of the upgrades in the P organ maybe should have been base level on the on the character. I'm not sure about the dodge upgrade, but definitely the combat role should be on the, on the base character. But then again, I also like that the P organ has significant upgrades that you can look forward to getting. Um, the game has enough weapons and they're really fun and creative that I don't like that I'm kind of forced and locked in so that some that I already upgraded, whereas that is a problem in other games like this too, but I think it's exacerbated here because the weapon design is so fun. And I think other games allow you to, like, I think even the Dark Souls games allow you to get more upgrade materials by now, right? So I would say that is, that's, that's a big one. Uh, but yeah, apart from that, I don't have any really big criticisms. Maybe I'm too tired to play this game today. <laughs> I feel I'm just trying to deflect at random. I'm not really reading it very much. Maybe it's he's just hard to read, or maybe it's because it's dark in here, I don't know. Maybe I'm too tired. <laughs>
Okay, so he's a fast charge that he goes into a really fast combo. Yay! Alright, we got him. That, he is very tough for me. Sorry. Holy crap. This is the kind of enemy that dodging would be better. Yeah, so I like parrying more is the thing. So maybe that's a good example of a problem that the other way. And if that's if that's how it feels to try to... So parrying him was very, very hard. I was still enjoying it. But if every single fight in the game was like that, maybe I'd be getting upset. So if a lot of people who are trying to dodge more than they're trying to parry are having that experience where they find dodging more fun, but a lot of fights are punishing them in the same way that fight was punishing me, then I could see getting very fatigued with the game, for sure. Yeah. Don't worry, that guy killed me like 10 times. Okay, thank you. At least he's, he, it's not just hard for me. These games like to put very difficult enemies with somewhat lower health bars than a boss that have a, attack patterns that are often more punishing than a boss. Because they can, it's kind of like a glass cannon sort of enemy. Alright, where are we? Just curious, what do you think about having no poise has been the most negative thing about game? About this game? Um... I don't really play the other games with poise in my mind. I don't think I fully understood it in the first game, or if I did with him putting armor on, the second and third games didn't poise not even work properly in those or something. Like, I, I just, I don't even consider poise in these games. So I just am playing around it just naturally. So maybe that's why. I don't really, I still don't know what poise does. Poise, if I remember correctly, and check you correct me if I'm wrong, is that you can put armor on that has higher poise. You can also level up where you get a ring, and it makes it so you can withstand a higher damage threshold before your attack is interrupted as you are attacking. And one of the things you can do in Dark Souls 1 is that you can put a high enough poise and you can just attack through the enemy's attacks, and you don't have to worry about timing it if you want to get some free hits in. Uh, or you can just like tank through the enemies and just keep hitting. Whereas if you're really tanky and have a lot of health but low poise, like you can you can just try and attack through the enemies' attacks, but you'll never get through because they'll keep staggering you, right? That's what poise does. So yeah, I'm not I don't really build my characters around poise. I don't do that, so it doesn't bother me. There's, there doesn't seem to be any in this game. It is annoying though when you when you're charging up a heavy attack and then it's about to go through and then you get hit and it's interrupted. It's frustrating, but that's just, you know, sometimes difficult games are going to be frustrating. New enemy? Hmm. Why did he go down to a stagger right away? Is it because, um... We've got a charge heavy in his back, maybe? I'm not sure. Like, see, it took two heavies to knock this guy out into a stagger. So his poise is pretty low. See, I've learned that two attacks staggers this guy, so I can, if, if I know I have the timing, then I can lock him down. Which is the Dark Souls game where poison is completely busted, it doesn't even work. It's a dead stat. Is that Dark Souls 2? Is that another problem Dark Souls 2 has? All of them but one. It doesn't even work in Dark Souls 3? Why is it there then? That's weird. Thank you, Dalmuk, for the for the bits. Why do they call it Puppet when you pup in the Pinocchio of out human eat the humanity? Alright, thank you, Dalmuk. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Costco. I wish I was a Costco man. I'll miss you this upcoming month, Mr. Streamer. Best of luck on writing the next Wizard and the Dragon book. <laughs> well, I'll be back in October. We're going to play Alan Wake 1 and 2, and then we'll see how it goes. And then maybe it'll be one other game we do in November. Costco man like NL. Is NL a Costco man? I am the Costco man. <clears throat> Alright, my voice is fucked up today.
Have you played any bug mods for Souls games like Daughter of Ash, Sekiro Resurrection, etc.? Bug? You mean big mods? Maybe it's just a typo. The only mod I've played for any Souls game has been the randomizer. I played a randomizer with Finn and while he was playing on his Switch. And it was a little awkward because I didn't want to get past any area that he hadn't been to yet. So I was limited from where the randomizer would take me. It was an, it was an item randomizer. It wasn't a fog door randomizer. Fog door randomizer sounds really fun too. And uh, playing the randomizer was it was it was a pretty good time. The item the item one. I think I would rather play with um with different settings next time though. I think I had it on completely fair. It was like anything could be anywhere. And I think I would rather play with um, hard to get items or high value items or in hard to get places, but still random because, like, the shit I was finding just out and about was fucking bullshit overpowered. So, Tal, do you want to become a workshop technician, a primer for aspirants? No other city in the world today has been receiving more attention than Krat, the city of puppets. Back when the Almighty V visited. Cyberpunk? It was still just a fishing village. It has undergone a brilliant change in the past 30 years, spurred by Kratz's puppet industry. Puppets made in Kratz's workshops are known for using new technology that is on a different level from their competitors. The workshop puppets are intricate like humans that perform, and they perform their master's orders so naturally that people wonder if they have souls. Many competitors tried to replicate the workshop's special mechanic heart, mechanical hearts only to fail and prove the outstanding gap between their capabilities. The monopoly on the special power stone Ergo and the skills to optimize its efficiency those are what give Kratz Workshop its edge. Now nah, it's the souls, but the workshop's beginning wasn't always smooth. The workshop history begins with one legendary craftsman, and his records are great manuals for the apprentices. The legendary craftsman G, whom every technician knows about, on, on the next page will learn about his achievements. Omitted. Geppetto? German? I've only been watching about... I've only been watching about every other stream. How do you avoid overleveling? I'm just I'm just going through the game naturally and using souls as I get, not farming. And I feel like the game is getting easier with every boss. In Lies of Pinocchio, in Lies of P, uh, that's not my experience at all. Maybe you're just better than me. I, I find that in these games, just don't farm and you won't overlevel. That's usually my approach on all of these kind of games. I just, just take the amount of souls that I get naturally from clearing areas. Oh, whoa, what the... F Yep. Yep. Okay. All right. Thank you, Lesbian Pete. Thank you so much. Yep. Okay. <sighs> Played the whole game with a heavy weapon and many boss fights, which were great. Ended up being a bit fair and frustrating. I think that this game is going to have a problem with heavy weapons not being that all that viable. Yeah. Is killing enemies in a corpse run to the boss considered farming? No. If you're dying on purpose to make it happen, then yeah. I think if you're killing enemies and eventually you, you build up some levels, then that's a really natural way of leveling up a little bit if you need some help for for a boss fight that you're that you're struggling on. Um, I like the system of the bloodstain being uh, at the fog door instead of inside. Actually, um, I personally would probably try a different system than that, but um, I think it works better than the bloodstain being stranded in the boss room and you have to like go in and awkwardly use a homeward bone to level up. I think that that the system works quite well. Especially since you get the, the reusable homeward bone in this game right away. So just like, yeah, it just saves time. Like, it's outside the boss door. Here you go, you can grab it. I like it. And then if you if you build up a level by um, by killing enemies on the way, then you can get some help. Alright, who are you? Oh shit, what? Alright. 
I typically avoid that happening though when it comes to gathering too many souls on, on boss runs by just running to the boss door. But when I played Dark Souls for the first time, I didn't do that. I, I killed every enemy on the way back every single time. And um, I actually really like that level design, or, or that game design, and I wish that I could get back there again, but I just can't. Oh, you break their canisters! That's what's stunning them. Okay, interesting. Oh, didn't we unlock ladder? Didn't we unlock a ladder? Where was it? Next to the door, my dude. Oh, was it right there and I missed it? JPH blind? No. It's not here. Oh, it's here. Okay. Not so blind. Do lies actually do anything? I think it's something to do with the story. It changed our character. We have better hair now. And we're even hotter. Found you via the Half-Life 2 trolley video. Easily up there with all-time great Half-Life 2 videos. Amazing. I think Retinas made that. Retinas might be in chat. That was a fun run. I had a lot of fun in those streams. Has the game held up? I just reached King of Puppets. It has held up, yes. I'm, ha I'm having just as good, enough, good a time now as I was at King of Puppets. Is this a mini boss? I guess. Oh man. Oh man. What? It's Ornstein and Ornstein! Okay, so you can kill the clown. This is, uh... This is hard? <laughs> if you could have a little figurine of either Charlie Chan or Fido, who would you pick? I love Fido, man. I have to go with Fido. I love Fido so much. Fido's my favorite. She's favorite Chan. If you break her weapon, does the clone also have a broken weapon? I don't know. Maybe we could find out? I don't know if I can break their weapon, unfortunately. I'm not, I'm not doing well on the deflections today. Thank you, Lily. It's very necessary. Does the game look really dark to you too? Or is it an OBS thing? Uh, it doesn't look too dark to me. In some areas it's been dark, yeah. So what are the packs that are on the enemies here? Is it something to do with the, the the ergo infusions on humans? So if you put ergo in a puppet, they become alive, but if you put ergo in a person, it's like corrupted soul flesh.
Got her. Alright, not too bad, not too bad. Huh. That's a nice little mini boss encounter, huh? Pretty got pretty good atmosphere in the room too. Okay. So I think my my um shortcoming as a gamer here, uh how I'm playing the game, is that I am prioritizing deflection so much that I'm not being as aggressive as, as I should be. And I wonder if that's because the game feels so different to Sekiro that my mind is going to the deflection part in Sekiro, but attacks don't feel as, as fluid as they do in Sekiro to me, so I'm prioritizing that too much and I'm not attacking too much. Maybe it's the slower weapon problem, but like, I feel like that went a lot better there when I was pushing much more against the boss. Victor could not be completed, may she, be, may she become the owner of the truly complete elixir. Alright, so this is probably the way. There was an area out there we didn't explore properly. Let's go down first and see where we go. Activate Gemini for light. He is activated, is he not? Oh, he's not! pretty bad your ascend to lie is divine many bosses and enemies have ranges i feel some are parry focused some are dodging focused some are needed to be passive others really aggressive too many people only choose one way to attack i think i'm trying to be somewhat varied but i am focusing too much on what we mean level up what oh because she's with us now why can't we just have this the whole game oh are right, we want more vitality or do we want to keep cranking up the damage The stargazer isn't transmitting, and I'm not sure why. Ah, oh, this was a bust, pal. Let's get back to the hotel. Quickly. No, I want to. I there's places I didn't you know, explore. Walking works. Let's walk. No. 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 Can I upgrade my weapons here too? Assemble weapons. No. Hmm. 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 -hmm. All right. The voice actor for Geppetto is the same as Margaret from Elden Ring. Yeah, someone said that a couple streams ago. Another fine day in the city of Krog. But I wonder, my friend, just where you've been? Oh. <laughs> the king thinks this riddle might be quite a poser. It's all about seeing past the tip of your nose. <sighs> observation. It's about observation. Just listen, kid. This one should be easy. You've seen enough of it. If your answer is wrong now, you're not going to love it. This blue flower has many ways to take root, but only on man does it ever bear fruit. A bru it's a bruise. Yeah, it's a bruise. It's a bruise. Ergo. one
make you feel warmth. Oh. This motherfucker talks more than a Dickens novel protagonist. Hey, you you leave Dickens out of this, all right? Dickens is his bay. Dickens Defense Force. Dickens has some of the best prose ever created. For reading and uh, saying it out loud. I would say that even like reading it aloud is even better. Like the Dickens just feels really good in your mouth. So smooth. Thank you, Joe. Very high brow. You're welcome. I'm a little congested again today. Sorry. My nose is a little stuffed up. Primus Vergi or Primus Vergi for the bits. Thanks, thanks, thanks for your vids. First Witcher helped me procrastinate from A-level. Second got me a brain after military service. What? Third in two years when I make my bachelor? It's going to be sooner than that or you'll never see it. Hopefully it helps. Thank you for the bits of the message. If I got a 3D printer, which I won't because I don't have space for it and I don't want to spend the money. But like, let's say in years time I got a 3D printer. How difficult would it be to hire someone to like make a model of, of like... Of that and then I would print it. Is that is that a service people do? It's gotta be, right? How much are you paying? I don't know. How much would it cost? What's your rate? What's your budget? Oh no! Is this game really that good that it made you stream on Sunday? Are you rushing to finish this? Uh, it's it's really that good. I want to play it some more. Uh, I am also rushing to finish it, but I'm not rushing in the way that I want to be over with. I'm rushing in the way that I want to go on break so I can start doing video work. I'm really eager to get into that. I want to get back. Back to the shack. You make videos? I do make videos. Okay, we're back here again. This is the kind of reuse of levels that I that I like. I like it when you go back to one of the first areas and it's different and it's moodier. I like it in Hollow Knight, I like it here. Uh, one of the souls does it too. I don't like it when you go through the whole game again like that, although I guess it could work. Dark Souls 3 does it well where it's like you go back to a different part of the first area. That's even better, I think. So the Witcher video is coming out in at most three months? Yes. Or you're never gonna hear from me ever again. There is only one exception to this rule. If if I or one of my children gets hospitalized and I am physically incapable of working in the next three months. That is the only exception I am going to allow myself. And if I do, I will provide proof of said hospitalization. But I don't think that's going to happen. I know it's kind of a morbid thought, but like, you know, we have a bunch of rule lawyers in the chat, so I'd rather be clear. We came from down here, didn't we? So when we came down here, I remember fighting here at the beginning of the game. What was it? Was, was this like... Was this full of shit? Because we couldn't come down here, could we? I mean, it's funnier if you just never finish at this point. Yeah, maybe, but um, it's really annoying to just, like, all the time, all the time. Where is Witcher 3? Where is Witcher 3? Where is Witcher 3? Where is Witcher 3? Oh, no. Hey, uh, so there's something horrible in front of the hotel. It might be worse than what we saw at the cathedral. What's all that? Right, tighten up your springs and let's go. I mean, it's annoying. It's really annoying having to ask all the time, too. Yeah, it's true, yeah. You know what? For no reason, let's go back to the bonfire. For no, for no... What do you mean you can't use it right? For no reason, let's go back to the bonfire. Any guess the final runtime of the Witcher 3 video? It's uh, at most 12 hours. Because that's the upload limit. So it's capped at 12 hours. If it goes over 12 hours, then the blood and wine stuff might be its own video, but I would hate that. I would cut, I would prefer to cut a lot of the video out before that. Uh, right now it is under 12 hours. I have it under 12 hours, but I have to play Witcher 3 again. I have to play some Cyberpunk 2077 update again because there's a line that I speak about Cyberpunk 2077 and I've noticed that they might have changed that in the game. Uh, but that's not going to be too bad. I'm not going to have to play Cyberpunk 2077 for too much. But Witcher 3 I'm going to do another playthrough of. <clears throat> Which also shouldn't take too long. I know that game very well. 
It's between 10 and 12 hours right now, let's put it that way. But the goal is to make the, the video as short as possible, so not to make it as long as possible. Corrupted Parade Master. Wait, I don't remember this guy's moveset. Oh, look at the teeth in his head. Oh, shit. Will you be... what? Will you be happy with the video when you release it in the next three months? Uh, I hope so, but even if I'm not, like, completely happy with it, I'll still release it. What is the final hour of the video about? Blood and Wine. It ends with a DLC. Okay, lifting up his arm means he's about to do a charge. Uh, everything else is just going to be um, blocking when he releases his attack. He does a lot of damage. That's like two hits and, and we and we die. Will you still talk about Cyberpunk in it? Yeah, I talk about Cyberpunk not a lot, but here and there throughout the throughout the video, yes. Oh, we don't think you should bend for people who seriously try and accuse you of lying of being uh, about being hospitalized. That is bad material in my book. Please don't even think about risking a dox if God forbids anything like that ever happens. Eh. This isn't really for them, it's for me, Alduin. Like, but thank you. What's the first spoken word in the video if you don't mind spoiling it? The. Okay, spin into belly flop. Belly flop? Yeah, there you go, belly flop. Belly flop. What? Why didn't that stun him? Time to stop sharpening there. Does the process of making the Witcher videos change your mind about doing videos on game series in the future? And would you rather do videos on individual games? No, it's well, it does and it doesn't. So I've said this lots of times before, but there's I haven't said it in a while, and there's probably new people here. The videos aren't the problem. Like the reason why the videos aren't out is because the project was too big, or I couldn't get it together to do it or anything like that. Like I've had like a personal issue that. I can't say, and if I said what it was, you would understand why I'm not saying it. And I keep thinking that the issue is resolved, and it's not. I want to do the work. I'm still excited to do the work. I'm really, I'm really happy to do the work. I love doing video work. It's not about that. The project isn't the problem. That said, within the bounds of the of the issue, and like looking at my life going forward, maybe big projects like that just aren't really conducive anymore and realistic. Sure. But that's not the project's fault, you know? That's not to say I haven't made mistakes. Like, absolutely, for sure. Like... When the video was all just one big video, I should have just, like, chopped it up and released it. Instead of, like, okay, now I have an opportunity to retool a lot of stuff that I was unhappy with because now I have more, more runtime to, to play with, right? I should have just done that. That was a mistake, for sure. Because at one point, it was just one big, long video.
Belly flop? No? Oh shit, he grabbed me. No, no. Let me run, let me out, 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 let me out. Yeah. First try. So what's happening now? Let's get back to the hotel and our friends. Man, want to make a fight 10 times harder? Just add decay. Holy crap. You don't really feel the weapon durability until that. I think that the last little bit of weapon durability you have is worth more than what came before it. So, like, um, you know how kind of like, uh, no, that's not true. I don't drive. Why am I saying that? <laughs> Isn't it a regular thing that uh, your gas tank, like the last, like, 20% on the, on the gauge, like, ticks down a little slower than everything before that? Or is that a meme? Yeah, it is. Depends on the car, does it? Oh, okay. I don't think I'm ever going to have that experience because when I get a car, I want to get an electric car if I ever learn how to drive. Um, but Lily's learning before I am at the moment. Um, I think that's the reserve tank of gas. There's, there's a reserve tank of gas? Is that a meme? Eh, we'll just hit the reserve when we go out. Shifty-eyed. What are you talking about? Um, I feel like the, the little bit at the end is worth more than what came before it. it at least that would be a smart way of, uh, of easing the system on the player. I think that you can probably kill most fights in this game without ever having to repair your weapon, even if it looks like it's going down. Um, maybe not the two phase fights, but like when we fought green thing of the swamp or whatever, like I felt like I was at low durability for a long ass time without the K going. It's because the way cars measure gas is a boy, a, a buoy in the gas tank and when, when your gas gets low it's a bit less accurate. Is it? Okay. Electric cars also have a reserve battery and the last 10% isn't actually 10% of your battery. It's so you don't end up dead on the road when you try and push the charge. Oh, okay, that's good. I still don't understand the design intent behind the weapon durability. Does it add anything to the game besides making you scramble when the danger sign pops up? I think it's got a couple of intentions. One is to have those danger moments and for also decay to be a more dangerous debuff instead of just being just normal poison. It's like, oh shit, this is damaging my weapon too. It, um, I think it's, I, I enjoy looking at my weapon and going, oh shit, I have to repair it. Okay, quick. And now I have to go into a different gameplay mode and have to do this quick repair, which has a little mini game or mini experience in itself because the longer you hold down the repair, the faster the repair goes up. So it, you can top it up constantly if you want, or you can save it for one big one if you know the timing of it and you can get your weapon back up. Uh, also, there's a, a buff that makes your weapon do more damage if it's at max durability. So you can mess with that system if you want to play that way. Um, secondly, it allows you to break enemy weapons because like it wouldn't make sense if your weapon was immortal but everyone else's wasn't so it adds that to it as well and it also allows you to do um i don't have it because i use it in the, in the fight uh this the special sharpening as a part of it too so i think it adds quite a bit i like it i like the system i think a lot of those things i just described wouldn't make sense or would feel lesser if it wasn't for the sharpening all right so the hotel is under attack i thought we were trying to get into um the tower in the in the whatchamacallit in the train station favorite pasta shape in terms of sauce retention cap capacity I like the, the twisty ones rotini hypocrite oh, couldn't be me oh damn well, I hope the, the weapon waifu is okay you're alive. I was worried because I didn't hear from you. How are you alive? The stalkers have kidnapped Geppetto. It was the fox, the cat, and the black rabbit brotherhood. But really, I sense Simon is behind this. First, go to the second floor and make sure everyone is okay. I'll try to figure out where they ran off to. Antonia might know a secret passage. Try asking her. Has anyone else ever spoken to Sophia? 
What? Oh, this is a kind of a cool moment. This has been like your safe haven for the whole entire game and now it's just destroyed. Look at the detail that went into this. <laughs> peaches, 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 peaches. Are the puppets okay? Phew! We can play a record? Oh, we didn't play this one. Quixotic is a good word. Snow halation? Who, who's there? I'll never open this door. You might as well give up. Oh, it's you. Is it safe out there? Give me a sec. Okay, come in. I'm sorry, child. Geppetto has been kidnapped. Oh no. You are here. That's a relief. Being trapped somewhere. It's the worst. It's good to be free. Oh, sorry. I should be thanking you first. When you came in, you reminded me of the hound. Probably because both of you saved my life. Thank you so much. <laughs> you have my personal thanks for saving Master Benini, sir. Do look after him, won't you, sir? Thank you for another timely rescue, Compagno. I seem to find myself once again in your debt. I just opened the door. I talk a big game, but when push comes to shove... I freeze. It'd be funny if it weren't so pathetic. Surely there must be something that only I, in all my genius, can contribute. But if there is not, then Vedini is here to help you in any way he can. Fear not. I still don't see the cat. What cat, Chatter? There was never a cat. It was a planned ambush. I'm afraid there's nothing we could have done about it. We use a planned ambush. More than anything, I'm concerned about how it shocked Lady Antonia. All this mayhem is certainly going to affect her condition. I knew that you would respond to the earthquake when we d demolished part of the train station and you would go and explore it, and then I knew that the, the carcasses would flood through the streets after the explosion and you would have to be clearing them out and one of them would take over the corpse of the parade master and you would be busy fighting them. And I knew it would take you so long that we would be able to ambush the, the hotel while you were... Like, what like, do you mean? I guess so. I'm sorry, Trav. Geppetto has been kidnapped. The alchemists planned the whole thing. All while we were hiding. I certainly didn't expect an attack on the hotel. The possibility never crossed my mind. However, I think we can track them down. My portrait. Behind it lies a passageway to their base. The whole time? The hotel had an accommodation with the alchemists. <laughs> Long ago. Play this chord on the piano in my room. Oh it no! In the secret passageway, and you can save Geppetto. Ooh! What if I don't want to save Geppetto? Anger. Did I become even more human there? Oh, you can you can change the record right here. Close your eyes. Did we get a quartz? I think we got a quartz, didn't we? 
you become more humanitarian physically you change your record oh yeah that's true yeah you do you you do get a little bit of humanity uh when you do that i remember them saying that all right so we got a quartz what are we putting on this one to get a uh, perfect guard cause stiffness i want to see what this does i'm really curious all right we did attack and and survival do we want to do ability or item item consumable effect lower loss and ergo upon death reduce item prices uh, you know what? None, none of this is, is good for us. Um, special grindstone weapon durability recovery restores weapon durability when using special grindstone. Oh, that might be really good. How much does it do? And then we could just use a special one to get a bunch of durability back. Maybe it's a full one. If it's a full one, that's huge. Fatal attack, fable charger, charge legion when eliminating an enemy. That might be good. Charge fable when reviving. Um, lowers weapon durability consumption when weight increases. Let's get that one. That one's fun. All right. So now we have this. I'm curious what that what that does. All right. Is there a lot of quartz to get upcoming, or, or is this like a new game plus mechanic? Because damn, there's like a like. Not only do we need three quartz to get to phase five, I'm guessing we're gonna there's four to get the next one too. What the fuck? Is there really seven quartz left to find? Maybe you missed some. Maybe, but I don't think I've missed seven. I've been pretty thorough. Let's go back to the train station and uh. Oh, one is gone forever. Who the hell are you, Baron Swamp? Oh, you have to we have to teach you anger. Uh, I was here, right? How does it feel to be more more weebs in chat? You call out a snow halation joke and nobody responds. Now we, their chat is so weeb that they're just like, yeah, it's, it sounds like snow halation. They don't even see it as a joke. You mentioned you might stop making videos because of one of YouTube's new policies. Is that still the case? Sorry if I'm misremembering or asking too soon. It wasn't that I would stop making them. It's that I don't know if they're going to be viable to do, depending on how the policy goes through. So YouTube is going is taking away the ability for YouTubers to choose where ads go in their videos. And if, they, if that doesn't come with a big shift in how the algorithm generates it, like... I might not have a choice. The channel's just going to be dead because no one is going to sit through, especially now that ad block is going going through some changes too. No one is going to sit through 25 ads in the first hour and a half of the video and then nothing after that. Like, that's just busted. But hopefully they change it. Carrier's Amulet 1, Workshop Master Workwear. Carrier's Amulet Plus 1. Increased weight limit. Cool. Oh, it's really significant. Damn. Increase ergo and access when killing enemies. Um, is this worth it, do you think? Maybe we should put the stamina one on. I like getting the ergo, but it doesn't seem like it's that much. Let's put the stamina one on. There we go. And then we can put some more defense on. Slightly heavy mom spaghetti. There we go. Now we're pretty, pretty tanky. I don't know how important armor is in this game. So long in the day, the pickpocket who was overconfident in a gamble had his heart stolen and died. So it's a banger, one of my favorites, yep. Remember the Metal Angel. We are simply on a journey that follows his footsteps. Alright, when are we going to fight the Metal Angel? New outfit? Oh yeah, new outfit. It was workshop something, right? Oh, yo! I really like this kind of style. Alright, let's keep this on for a while. I like this. Why are you saying yo so much? I don't know. Does it bother you? Let's go back here. Go through phases when that when I say things. Still better than dude. Aw, oh, dude. Hello, my only friend. What did you come to tell me? That I don't want to be friends anymore. Huh. Being angry for someone else's sake. Sake. I think it's brave. I hope I find someone I can be brave for. Thank you so much. Hello, my only friend. I'll be back. Attacked Hotel Crat. You're here. It's good to be free. You came in. Yeah, 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 yeah. Less, less talky, more weapon upgradey. Let's go. Come on. Oh, I don't have a full Moonstone of the Covenant. Oh, god damn it. Can they only go to plus plus four? Hmm. 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 I don't know, chat, should we change to a different weapon? Something that's a normal weapon that uses different blades that's faster, maybe? I don't know. The worst show sound is the oh ho ho. Which one? Oh ho ho. That one? I saw that. How is that my worst sound? Thank you for another timely rescue, companion. 
I seem to find myself once again in your debt. I talk a big game, but when push comes to shove, I freeze. It'd be funny if it weren't so pathetic. Surely there must be something that only I, in all my genius, can contribute. But if there is not, then Vedigny is here to help you in any way he can. Fear not. Okay, can we craft all of them now? Alright, we crafted all of them. Yeah, upgrade. Collect all Legion arms. Nice. Okay, so then we can modify them. I like the puppet string, actually. I wonder if the normal Legion arm has such low usage that you can just use that throughout the game with some, some Legion arm energy upgrades. Alright, so I think the shield might be pretty good for if you're not that great at parrying. While performing a guard counter, charge from a powerful attack. Yeah, I think this might be pretty good for getting through some attack strings that you're struggling with. Um, and the rest are just like, if the boss is weak to this sort of thing, then you can you can exploit that for some free damage. I wonder how much damage it can do. Especially if you spec into this. I just like the puppet string because it's movement and it's also some free damage on some some fights. It seems pretty strong, actually. I think puppet string sucks until you get, until you get number three. I wonder if any of the other ones are like that too. Overcharge. Increase the maximum level for charging. Does it cost more or less? Like if you charge that in the middle of a fight, maybe it does like an ass ton of damage. What's this one? Flame explosion? So this is just a fire version of, of the uh, of the electric one. Yeah, okay. And then this one, enhanced landmine. Like if this is a lot of damage to bosses, you could plant them around the arena and then lead them to it, right? Trees an acid explosion when the acid pull duration has ended. That's probably good against puppets, and then the shield, and then this is just like if you want to have free emergency shot when dodging. Oh, you can, okay, so that's just free damage on the boss, if you want a general version, I guess. That seems pretty good, actually. Okay, we should level up. Soon, but be warned, the truth is, like you, show me. I knew it, it might be the yeah, 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 yeah. So, what's, what's the legion? So, advances legion? Motivity. Is there any weapon that uses advance? Capacity also increases legion. One puts up by three, and then advance puts, up, puts it up by one. So, what's a weapon that uses advance? None of these scale with advance. You are here. Assemble weapons. Oh, I'm not seeing it on here. All elemental weapons. So the electric coil stickhead? Oh, it does. Advanced B. Okay, hold on. Does, um, do you see that when you, if I put the axe head on there? Oh, it comes from the handle. Acidic crystal spear handle. That comes from A. So it's the handles that decide the scaling, not the blades. So let's see. If I have, if I have the, I have the axe and then motivity is D, D, A. All right. And I go back and I put a different one on. And I go here, DDA. Let's go with spear, DDA. So it's the handles that that uh, make the the scaling. Okay. So I'm gonna guess that if you if you dumped all your points in the capacity in advance, and used a weapon and the legion arm, I think you would have a, a much easier time. I think that's probably gonna be the path to to having an easier game. I'd be curious to do a run like that and see how much you can do. Because there has to be a path that's easier. Hmm, handles feel like it affects way more than the head, right? Both scaling and moveset. Yeah, but you can upgrade the weapons and then move it to different handles. So it's a pretty good system. And the, the handles is also the moveset. I wonder if some of the movesets are a little too similar, though. Different Legion arms scale different attributes. Oh, do they really? I thought... I thought it. Well, the advanced stat um, scales Legion. Oh, we didn't talk to Vanini. Let's go look. Switch Legion arm. Okay, so that is motivity and technique. That's technique. Technique. Uh, so motivity and advance. Advance. Doesn't scale with advance at all. Just motivity. Advance. Uh, technique and motivity. And technique. Hmm. Okay. Maybe I'm wrong then. If you want to go with one of the... Like the elemental, like chat said, yeah. So advances the elemental, so you could make it an elemental weapon and the elemental legion arm. I wonder if you could just like like rock up a debuff on the boss real fast, and then that just scale that throughout the entire fight. Like if you had a fire weapon and a fire legion arm, I wonder if you could learn openings on the boss to basically make them always be on fire, and because of that, they're ticking down constantly. 
Hmm, okay. Ah, looks like you've dealt with the puppets menacing the hotel steps in your typically dashing style. That should give us more than enough readings to analyze. The King of Puppets used carefully measured ergo wavelengths to control other puppets. But that's just the means to an end. We still don't know if the frenzy arose by the King of Puppets, or if someone else is pulling the strings. No pun intended. I must find a way to prevent puppets from hurting any more humans. The tragedy of Arlecchino must remain a one-time performance. These records are like a puzzle wrapped in riddles. But I always did love puzzles. The light shines brightest in the darkest times, and you will be the first light. I am counting on you. Anyone who saw this guy was going to be a bad guy? Thank you, Daniel Mockridge, for the hype chat. How much donkification in this game? Uh, none so far. There's been, like, bunnification. There's been a bunny gang, or a rabbit, a, a rabbit gang, instead of donkeys. Yeah, I was expecting there to be, like, a donkey bit, too, but I guess that's just for the Disney movie. I always welcome friends. Should we switch to grinder? Electric and fire. Hmm. Are there different ones in this, or could we have bought them, or what? Do you have them? Oh, yeah, acid. Indomitable grindstone. Temporarily enhances guard performance. Triggered what? What does that do? You block more? Destruction. Temporarily increases weapon at stagger attack. Oh. Temporarily increases weapon critical rate. Oh, oh, what what are, what are we doing? What have we been doing this whole time? I always That's a lot of ergo. Okay, do we want to level up capacity a little bit more? Just for just so we can put something. Hmm. Do we have enough stamina? I still feel like I'm running low on stamina. Maybe we should be leveling up our stamina a little bit more. I'm doing it. Someone could do that accidentally. Come on. What if it's broken? Oh, we have to get the repair guy in. Sorry. Really thought the game would have fallen apart by now. Maybe it does now. Can you name a couple of games that you want to make videos about, but it probably won't come out anytime soon? Uh, Lies of P, Starfield. Crosscode. Silent Hill series. Hmm. Who would have guessed all this was beneath the hotel? Wait. Is, is this the relic of Trismegistus? You know, it's the strangest feeling. I, I, I think I've been here before. Maybe I haven't gotten all my memories back after all. Okay. I don't know exactly what's going on, but someone was dragged away from here. We have to follow. Hurry. Geppetto? I prefer the relic of uh, Yennefer, I guess that's myself. I'm underground, but I see a butterfly. Have I gone mad, or is it from another world? Full mo oh, full moonstone! Deeds. All right, so that grindstone seems like it gives us a hundred percent crit rate. That's pretty good. You didn't explore some bits of the ruined city for the last boss. Will you go back there? Oh, with the elevator! Yeah, 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 we should. We should do that. Hold on, let me get my souls back, and we'll go and see if we can level this weapon up, and then we will, uh, we'll go back there, yeah. It might have only just been that one part of the roof, though. What do crits do in this game? Uh, 
well, I think they just do extra damage. I don't know if they do extra stagger damage. Which Souls games do you think collapses by this point gameplay-wise? Well, Dark Souls 2 collapses right at the start. Uh, Dark Souls 1 has already collapsed at this point, yes. I would say Elden Ring has also collapsed at this point. But it still has some tricks left, left up its sleeve. Bloodborne doesn't collapse. Neither does Dark Souls 3. Neither does Sekiro. Yeah, stagger damage from the deflections. Things, do you still think Bloodborne is the best Souls game? If we're including Sekiro on that list, I think Sekiro is better than Bloodborne. It's shitty to rank those games though, man. Like, they all do different things really, really well. Like, in some ways, Elden Ring is the best one. In some ways, Dark Souls 1 is the best one. In some ways, Dark Souls 3 is the best one. Bloodborne is the best one. In some ways, Sekiro is the best one. In some ways, you know. And that's all of them, right? Uh, it's, it's shitty to rank them. I know it's fun to rank things arbitrarily, but at the same time, I feel like that I'm beholden to it a little bit. Pretty tough. Iron Wall Amulet. Increases physical damage reduction rate. That seems pretty good. Does Neo 1 and 2 have a collapse? I haven't finished Neo 2. I only played it for an hour or so. Neo 1 kind of gets stupid toward the end. But maybe that's just the DLC. Ooh, it has like a little banner feathery thing. Maria, best boss in Neo1. I like Maria as well. I died to Maria a lot. That's a pretty cool moveset. And what is Dark Souls 2 the best one? No dig, I like the game. You don't want me to dig it? Dark Souls 2 is the best DLC. And apparently has the best PvP, or Fashion Souls, or, or both. Maybe Elden Ring has better PvP? I don't know. I don't PvP in those games. I hear the PvP scene is good in Dark Souls 2. Dark Souls 2 also introduced Power Stancing, which is something I didn't use when I played it. But I hear it's pretty good. I did use Power Stancing in Elden Ring, and I thought it was pretty good. Does Dark Souls 2 have... No, because Elden Ring is going to do that. I was going to say, does Dark Souls 2 have the best kind of sense of adventure? Dark Souls 2 is a pretty long-ass game, and you go to a lot of different places in Elden Ring, uh, in Dark Souls 2. Feels like you trek around a whole ass world. Best DLC by far? Yeah, it does. The DLC in Dark Souls 2 is really, really good. What is your least favorite worst game in the genre, including non-From games? Uh, that's not a very nice question. <laughs> I would have to have a list in front of me of all the ones I've played. None have been so bad that I'm like, oh, this sucks. I mean, I guess I, I played the first Lords of the Fallen. I didn't even finish it. So I guess it would be that one because, I, again, I didn't even finish it. I didn't finish Hellpoint because we didn't continue the stream because it was cursed. And it was just, just trying it out for a little bit. But I would like to go back and play it. It felt pretty good. Um, 
Of the ones I finished, probably Mortal, Sh Mortal Shell or Ashen are the worst, but they're still not bad games. They're just kind of forgettable in a way, you know? The Surge, maybe the Surge. The Surge has some interesting ideas, though. All right, plus, plus four. Oh, get two full stone, full moonstones of the covenant, and we get the plus five. All right, I enjoy Dark Souls two. Dark, Dark Souls two is more gritty, less over the top take on dark fantasy. Nice, nice atmosphere. Yeah, I could agree that Dark Souls two has some good vibes. Yeah, or some interesting vibes. Why do you think the social life part of Persona five is better than the dungeon part? Because the dungeon part is turn based combat, and it's just like, just not very fun, for me. The story and the characters are the draw of that game, and you get to see more of them in the social part. It's more interesting. If I played a lot of the, if I played a lot of games like that, maybe I wouldn't like it as much anymore. Maybe the novelty is doing the heavy lifting there for me. Not sure, but I don't like turn-based combat, especially turn-based combat in that sense, which is pretty traditional. Uh, the fact that you can get through it really quickly in Persona 4 and 5 is, is good, but the fact that I'm happy that you can get through it quickly says a lot. The best part of Persona 4's combat was the shuffle time at the end, because it's a little bit like gambling. <laughs> it's like, yeah, let's go. Like build the whole game over that, about that, please. Alright, so this is the only section we didn't do when we were here last time. Alright, so we can go up to the roof. Here's a chest. What's it gonna be? Weapon? Special crat supply box. Oh ho! That's important. And does this lead us back to the path that we were just on? It does, but with a treat. Dark moon, moonstone of the covenant. Alright, I don't like it that it's Dark Moon Moonstone. Just just go Dark Moonstone. Okay, so the P organ upgrade that we got for deflecting doesn't seem to knock them down to a stagger. It just me it just does poise damage like an attack does, and it means that they will get a higher chance of getting staggered for some free hits. And it looks like it's maybe doing some more stance damage, but it won't knock them down into a vulnerable state. Okay. I'm a little disappointed in that. I thought it did something different, but that's still pretty good. The upgrade is a detriment IMO. In what way? Because it can interrupt their chains when you're in a good parry state? Hmm. It was a planned ambush, more than anything, no matter what serving. Welcome. Yeah, Wheatley, let's go. Yep. This is a supply box. I shall open it and add it to the hotel shop. No matter what serving. Welcome. All right, full moonstone of the covenant, only one of them, though. Oh, there's a quartz. Nice. Sorry, right, let's get the quartz. Uh, rusty cryptic vessel, an encrypted storage device in the shape of a metal cylinder. We need might be able to... Oh, let's, let's buy it. Alright, uh, stabilize the alchemical booster. I don't really care about this. This just makes the gold coins come faster and we're not using them. Legion Caliber we don't need anymore right now. Uh, buying a full moon of the Covenant is something we should get, but not right now because we can't use it. We need two to upgrade our weapon. So after we find another one, we'll come and buy this one. So we could have upgraded our weapon for the for the Parade Master. Oh no, we couldn't have because we couldn't come back here. Alright, what's this canister? I always welcome friends. Ah, oh, thank you for coming. I was going a bit stir-crazy, as the poets say, cooped up in the hotel. Why don't I read the contents? Oh, I'm sick and tired of reading conversations between society's elite. Hide these, kill that, steal those. It's all the same. And the people who want them deciphered act as if it's the end of the world if they can't read them immediately. <laughs> Tiresome. I am a simple, albeit brilliant man. Solving the code is what makes me happy. And with a friend at my side, what more is there to wish for? Perhaps sometimes I share too much. Thank you for listening. A little extra for you in there, my friend. Find the cave blocked off by metal bars in the barren swamp. There's a, war a reward at the end of the new road. Oh yeah, that, that place. It was right at the end, right? It's open now? <gasps> Why would it be open now? So this is the power of Vanini. Life is short and life in Krat is shorter. I reckon I should cherish what time I've got. All I can do is keep plugging away. 
Uh, if you come back by, say hello. Maybe I'll get this place open. Are you the riddle guy? It, it, it is open. My treasure. Well, this is what I've got so far. It's a cryptic vessel. A sort of cipher device. But I don't know how it works. I don't want to throw it away. I think it's a clue to some stolen goods. I found it between the corpses of two thieves who died fighting over it. You know what they say. No honor among thieves. But I can't make heads or tails of it. If you want it, it's yours. Oh, nice. Another one. Life is short. All I can do is... You never heard of Alidoro? He's a and unlike and professional. That's I know the the rumors. Alidoro. Those I mean, come on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, what, what? A con man who calls himself a treasure hunter wears a hound mask, charged with fraud, impersonation, theft, assault, and other serious crimes. He's very good for people, so watch out. Huh? He's he's giving us all the trick weapons. That's for sure. Vasistas. Nailed it. Oh, what the fuck? A side there? Yeah, good, huh? It's Blight Tune. I can make that favorite subnormal number. I don't know what a subnormal number is, sorry. I don't like normal numbers. Are there illusory walls in this game? If there are, we haven't found one. Favorite type of pie? Uh, probably a steak pie. I don't like sweet pies. What kind of cheese you got in your fridge lately? Uh, probably cheddar, mozzarella, and marble. Lily probably has some feta. I've been feta lately too. And uh, some parmesan. This place is contaminated too. There isn't much extra water left. The kind hermit helped me, but he knows he's not going to last much longer either. Terrible mutations from the side effects of the petrification disease neutralization process. Many people of crap will turn to turn into carcasses, the alchemists' monsters. My friends are the only thing that comes to mind in my final moments. Lumaccio is ill. Sophia is missing. Sophia, Lorenzini lost hope. H is dead. Why would you just say H? And here I am, Medoro. We risked our lives and fought for our, from each post, but sometimes there are no rewards. Still, some things are left. Something even something even power and lies can't hide. The truth. Oh, someone will unearth the truth. Someone will unveil the lie, taking the extra step forward for the people coming behind. I believe that was my role. I am Medoro, the reporter. My weapon and my pen. My weapon was my pen and the truth. Now I leave my records to you who visit this place. From Medoro. Okay. Can I pick them up? Get the most... Li what? Loyal? Lo loyal? What's that? Servant. Yeah. Why is it backwards? Is it a printing press slate? Doesn't look like it. This game's pretty trolly, but it's not going to be that trolly, right? Okay, phew. We didn't get our souls back, actually. Should we go back up and get them? Oh, is there even a way to get back up there? Oh, we missed a tree. Least objectionable cardinal direction. I'm going to take a shot in the dark and say up. Up. Jump over it. What? A 
quartz. The quartz hole. Oh, that was close. Okay, I want to I want to break her flaming uh Pot and see what happens. Yeah! Oh, I thought she was gonna on fire. Put either hand on one of the maze's walls and follow it. Assuming the maze has no freestanding walls, you will eventually find the exit with 100% certainty. Yeah, I use this. Uh, I use this technique to, to in maps and Poe all the time when I just want to get to the end and I don't want to be able to make sure I'm not doing any backtracking in some of the maze-like levels. Yeah. I learned that from Batman, the animated series, because that's how he got through one of the mazes in it. He said that to Robin, or to, to, to Jeffrey at the end, or whatever the fuck his name is. And I was like, damn, and it's stuck in my mind. HN Shield stream a quick New Game Plus run with a katana or a different playstyle before the break? Um, I don't think I'm good enough this game to do a quick playthrough of this. I would like to, but I don't know if I could. Gotta say, like, it's not the worst area, it's also not the best area, but I am enjoying that this is a complete side area. Like, optional shit, man. This is, this, I was expecting just a little treat in a cave. I wasn't expecting, like, a, a like, an actual fucking area. Like, goddamn. Oh, shit! Who are you? What's your story? Where's Joms from originally? I saw it used in another stream recently, now I'm scared. Joms is from here. I made Joms. Joms is mine. Uh, the user Top Lolly. Oh, what the fuck? The user Top Lolly made Joms. There's weapons here? I like this weapon a lot. That's a cool weapon. It's pretty fast, too. Scales with advance? Ooh. Ooh. That with the, uh, the flamethrower legion? Lots and lots of fire? You already fought that dude? It was a mini-boss when you first encountered the order of protecting people? Yeah, it seemed like it, he seemed pretty familiar. But I think that was only the second time we fought him, right? Oh, there's something over there. Is there going to be a boss here? There's no way there's going to be a boss here, right? Maybe a mini boss? Would they put a boss here? Get your souls back, Joe? No, it's only a thousand. Who cares? Joms. Joms. What if another streamer makes a Joms plushie and it, and it makes a million dollars? The little claw attack they do at the start gets me every time. Someone is already doing a Joms VTuber. We need someone doing a Joms VTuber! Joms NFT when? Joms coin? Crypto Joms? I've seen the revelation of the blue butterfly. They have asked me to free them from this prison of time. Oh, this place seems kind of important actually. How are we here? This, like, we got here from falling down a roof to climb up a ladder to get a chest that unlocked the shit that, that sells at the store to get a cryptic clue that Vanini unlocked, which opened a gate in another area, which went to a side area, which has lore stuff and talks about the blue butterfly, which is Sophia. The fairy is far, the fairy is crying. The hands on the clock have gone round and round to find the boy's future. All right, is this the mini boss here?
Oh, fuck. The improvement. It's better to end this way. Misty era. While the getting's good. So I guess it goes to show you how important it is to pick the right response to the right attack, unless you want to tunnel and get really good at something. Before I was trying to deflect his shield phase, and that just seems like a fool's errand. So instead, try and get behind him, avoid the, the, uh, like dealing with the shield head on, force him to do something that's easier to deflect, or just get some free hits in. Whereas before, I died a lot to that enemy because I kept trying to, to anticipate his shield movement and deflect it. Alright, what's this? Oh, quartz! Black Cat's hunting apparel. And an outfit. Oh, I like it. It's quite nice, isn't it? But I think I like the one that we were wearing for now. I'm not tired of this one yet. I leave the butterflies writing here. Remember you are human. Now it's time to get out of the string. Okay. Not a bad side area. Um, This is the mini boss. It's like, okay, maybe they could have had a rematch against one of the other bigger fights here. But maybe they didn't want to go too hard on the rematches. This was okay. I would have liked more of this kind of stuff around. The water is strange. I'm not sure when it started, but my tears and blood have turned blue. Okay, I think we got everything here, didn't we? Was that the journalist guy? Did you find this organically or did chat tip you? Uh, I found it organically, but like, it's not really... It's not like I stumbled upon it. It's that the, the game had some breadcrumbs that led us here. I think we got everything here. I think we can leave. Well, what's going on with her over there? Have they done a lot of... Got no strings to hold me down? No, not really. And we got another thing to decode. I wonder if that's going to give us another... Quartz. The game has surprisingly few bosses for being a Souls like, but what it had has been quality. So what? I think this game has had a lot of bosses, especially if you include a lot of the mini bosses. I think it's been more than enough, especially given their quality. There you are. Now just leave this to me. Done and done. You will find Venini always seeks to rise to the challenge at hand. I thought this game would have been over hours ago. Yeah, me too. An old shack in the tomb slums in Malum District. Look for the bleak tree and laundry line and enter the shack next to them. Okay, what's this going to be? Malum District. Malice District? Hmm. Uh, this one? Path of the Pilgrim? I think Path of the Pilgrim, right? Let's go to the district, actually. Does Alidoro have any inter new attractions with the Wanted poster? I don't know where Alidoro is right now. He disappeared. Uh, we should go see him in, uh, when we get another uh, boss hole, and we'll see what happens. Okay, this is definitely not where we need to be, right? An old shack in the tomb slums in Malum District. Well, it says Malum District. Look for the bleak tree and laundry line and enter the shack next to them. I feel like that's a lot earlier in this in this level. Oh. Well, shit, okay. Alright, Joe, I have bad news. The main battle theme in Persona 3 remake is slightly worse than the remix version. You need to cancel streams of that game it's 0 out of 10. Nah, I'm sure it's better. The remake will be better in every way. Who's fixing these doors every time we die? Oh, maybe it's out in the courtyard in the rain where we were talking about the expanse. When are you making a retrospective on the Persona series show? Never. It only has three games. How are you supposed to do like a big series on that? That's what I'm waiting for Witcher 4. Here, right? An agreement is attached for mutual trust. I kept hiding the stolen goods in the barren swamp and realized something. I'm never going to return. I'm never going to return if I keep going to the swamp. All I've known is the life of a thief. I don't want to die now. So we're returning to our sweet home. Even if the Black Rabbit Brotherhood is making trouble, we were technically before them in the Malin District. In the slums, you follow the slum rules. First, bring the stolen goods to our old base. We may be dumb, but we're loyal, unlike the rich. Here's to lifelong friendship. All right, that doesn't look like where we are, right? For real, right? 
An old shack in the tomb slums in Malum District. But where we went on the map, it was... This is the Malum District. That looks like in the, the forest area um, that precedes this. Yeah, it's definitely not here. I should have followed my instincts and went to the area before this. It said the tomb slums that which are near the Malum District. No, it doesn't. It says in Malum District. Is it this area? Is it Moonlight Town? Let's go here and see. What have I missed this stream? Uh, we killed the boss. It was a rematch against the Prey Master from the beginning of the game, which is pretty cool. Uh, we found a side area, and we are about to take break. We're doing some side stuff right now. Okay, let's see. Oh man, this place looks different in the day. Smiling Bunny Mask. Uh, Mark. It's like a whole new area. Do you think this game would, wouldn't be as hated or frowned upon if it was a FromSoft game? I mean, almost certainly yes, and that's not any... I don't think that should be a surprise. Like, FromSoft is a beloved developer, so... People always respond better to things when they come from a source that they, that they already know, right? Like, I, like I, I'm guilty of that too. Is it even guilty? Is there anything wrong with that? Like, you know where it's coming from, so you're like, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm more primed to have a good time. It can move the other way too, whereas like in this one I was, um, it was a surprise. So because it was a surprise, it's it's adding to my enjoyment. But it has to, something has to be really, really, really good for it to work that way. Oh damn, thank you, Dalmek. Did you random- Dalmek just gave out nine blind fire gift subs. Did we hit anyone lewd? Dalmek, ASDF1234 ASD- Oh, that's lewd as hell. Plain and pale. Oh my god, super lewd. Ran Maru, probably a lewd reference. Sky 8, Blazing Druid. Oh, blazing it, dude. Da Ko 9, Balalane, XXL, probably something lewd. 34, oh yeah, for sure. And Hatilla. Well done, well done, Dalmek. Well done. Thank you very much. Okay, this seems more like the right way. There was a bear here, wasn't there? Is the bear dead? Nope. Yeah, I think this is the area. Let's look around and see if we can find the shack. Here? Favorite type of physical wallpaper? I hate wallpaper. <laughs> wallpaper is a shorter remove. Yeah, I wonder if that's why I do hate wallpaper. Because uh, when I was a kid, we moved into a house and my parents did renovations to it. And... I had to help them. I didn't mind helping them at the time though. It's not like I was like forced, like you have to help, that, that sort of thing. It was like I, I helped them. And we had to, I was remove wallpaper from a wall and I remember hating it so much that I think maybe I just hate wallpaper for, from now on. Cause it's like, I never want to put this evil on anyone as long as I live. Really... We had to take ceiling paper off the ceiling too. Is it still wallpaper if it's on the ceiling? Favorite digital wallpaper? Uh, picture of 2B. Is the ceiling not a wall? I think the ceiling is the ceiling. Is it not? But do they call it wallpaper? You get wallpaper and put it on your wall, or do they sell ceiling paper? Okay, is that here? There's a light source and like a building in the background and the clothes hanging. Clothes. Looking for a washing line. Is it down here? No. This is too far. Here we are. Okay. Oh, it's just here. Okay, hello. How did you find this place? They sent you, didn't they? Yes. Those guys blabber about loyalty, but when the chips are down, they'll stab each other in the back. I don't know what's inside, and I don't really care. Take it with you and hurry. Robber Shack Key. Getting involved sounds like trouble to me. You can find the stolen goods on your own. Key obtained from the resident in the in the tomb slums in Malum District. It opens a shack in the tomb slums. 
The robbers, sick of the barren swamp, made a plan to go home. Betting on the slum's loyalty, they hid the stolen goods in a shack. Uh, what? Now I go to the to the tomb slums. Where are the tomb slums? Is this the tomb slums? Oh, it's here. Man, this better be something good. Belford Superior Corrosion Resistance Converter. My god, what I always wanted. Alright, the weight is not that heavy on it. Huge acid resistance. You know what? I don't like Decay. Do you think that's better to put on? Decay is the worst one. Let's do it. Resistance to shock. Resistance to break. You ran past it, I think. My, my weeb, I'm here. I'm, 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 I've, I've looted it. I've done it already. We're here. Alright, that was not worth. Was that the whole thing, chat? It's the wrong... We missed the wrong shack. We used the shack key to open it. There's more than one? Had that shack key since you killed the mini boss. Oh, it was a, it was another key that was used in the shack right next to the other shack. Well, excuse me for like thinking that that was it. I was given a key, told to go to a shack. I walked five steps, found a shack, used the key, got a treasure. Sorry for not immediately realizing there was a whole ass other shack with another key. Excuse me, princess. Life animal plus one legion caliber. You even got the prompt on the shock when you ran past. I was probably looking at chat. Whenever I'm not in a fight, I glance at chat. Like I just did it right then as I walked out of here. What's the life amulet? Probably a lot of life. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Oh, it's significant. Nice. What did we have on? The carrier's amulet, right? Okay. If we get another amulet slot, we're probably gonna want to put the uh, the one of favor protection on, right? Where's that? That one, blue guardianship amulet. More HP, stamina, and legion. That's probably a good one to have. I wonder how much quartz we have now. All right, are we done now? Did this guy go somewhere? Can we go f kill him? Cause he tricked us. Favorite prime number eleven. Eleven. No, there's another shack. How many quartz do we have? We have, oh, we have three quarts. Yes. Favorite axiom of Zermelo and Zermelo Frankel set theory, uh, that Zermelo Frankel exists. You can't even engage with it unless you take that as a given. How is that a minus two? That was a good response. <sighs> okay, more amulet slots, right? Increases ma special grindstone uses. That seems pretty strong, actually, if you're engaging with that, and we kind of are. Anyway, let's put this one on. I want another amulet slot because I know for sure I'm going to use that. All right, so let's go down to the to the bottom one. Um, enable favorable, enable enhanced fable at arts attack two. We do use those. Lowers natural cover you upon weapon attack. That's pretty good too, because it is annoying that the the enemies get their health back, but it's not that important. Um, perfect guard regain recovery, enhanced attribute. All right, definitely want that for sure. Yeah, I think I want that. Enhanced Fable Arts Attack 2. Perfect Guard Fable Charge Enhance. That's not too bad. Increases the Grinder's Weapon Durability Recovery Speed. Also not bad. I don't think any of the level 4 ones here are pretty good, right? Charge Fable 1 Reviving. That might be good because then we get more going into the boss fights. Yeah, let's do that one. Alright, so we got a new one. Alright, what are the last set going to be? I think it's gonna be, yeah, add a legion arm slot. I knew it. So now you have two two legion arm slots. Nice. Increase staggerable window two. That's good. Retain guard regain two. Re retains a certain amount of guard regain when receiving damage. All right, that's even better. Increases cube uses two. Oh, that sucks. All right, not bad. That definitely gonna go for that one. Extra legion arm. Yeah, whatever. I'm probably gonna go for these two. The cube seems pretty useless to me, to be honest. I'm not a big fan of the cube. 
All right, so let's put a uh, blue guardian ship amulet on. Yes, nice. A legion build sounds fun. It does, doesn't it? A whole other like weapon set that we haven't really engaged with. All right, I think we're you're done now, right? We didn't get a a full moon. No, we didn't. Okay. So let us uh, just look at our girl. All right, there we go. Kino. All right, it's break time. Do you have an official nickname for MC? I can't keep calling him P-Boy. Kinocchio? If you made Pino Pinocchio into Joe, would it be Pinocchio Joe or Joe Nocchio? Hmm. This man pinned his own message? No, K, K pinned it. You don't understand. They pinned the Joms. Oh dear. This is the mark of the Black Rabbit Brotherhood, a notorious band of stalkers. The stalkers as a unified force ceased to be after their defeat at the Battle of the Workshop Tower. The Black Rabbit Brotherhood took over the Malum district after the Malum. I believe you could use this mark to move safely whilst on the Black Rabbit Brotherhood's turf to use their unsophisticated vernacular and give you entree to the black market as well. But be careful, sir. The black car. Oh, so I could have done that to not have to bribe the guy for buying at the shop, maybe? Oh, where, where did Ali Doro go? Maybe he's gone. I think Vicoy deserves an emote. We don't have enough. We need like 10 emote slots right now. You want all these emotes? I'm going to need, like, like legitimately, like, 4,000 more subs, please. We're a, a little shy of 2,000 subs at the moment. I think the next emote slot, uh, like, unlocks at 2,600. So we need 10 more. So another, like, like, like f maybe daddy isn't even enough. I'll be surprised if we ever get... Like, if we do a big, huge event stream and we have, like, a... Like, a... During, like, um... A gift sub event thing kind of like september was if we did, did like a huge stream like series in that maybe we could get one more at most two more but that's it i don't think we're ever getting any more than that you see your emote stats right yeah i can see them some of them are not that used but i still like them and i don't feel right about getting rid of some of them time to play forespoken dlc then <laughs> okay we went up here Witcher 3 release subathon stream. Yeah, exactly. It's never going to happen. We're never going to have another emote slot. All right, new content. Here we go. We did all the side content. We got three quarts from that. That's pretty good. Already? Ah, and it's another lovely day in Crotch City. What a time to be alive. Or a reasonable approximation. Revived. Soon, this little dance of art will come to an end. No one's ever danced longer, I promise, my friend. Will you stay with me too and face whatever is coming? For today's a new day and we have to keep running. I knew that you would and I find that refreshing. So, the king of riddles will now hear your confession. Fido Sarah seems pointless to me. Permanently I banish Shatter for 10 seconds, please. Yeah, we've killed, we've killed someone. Yeah. Bravo, the spilling of blood is one of life's pleasures. And murder? A passion of mine. One I treasure. Uh-oh. Seeing of 
chosen one's trinity king. Alright, let him cook. This key probably unlocks something or somewhere. The sacred triangle was some organization's secret mark. Hmm. Okay, so I don't remember a door that we could open. There's probably a shack somewhere. I really like using Fido's hair uh, and making it monochrome for Chad. It's pretty fun. Should we cut the hair? I don't know, man. It is situational. Should we cut the hair? I have a grudge to settle some chatters before we're insisting equals kek was higher value than plus two. I need you to tell these people their subjective opinion is wrong. It's not even subjective, they're just wrong. Plus two has so much more utility than equals kek. You're insane. We could cut equals kek and people will be like, eh, whatever. We could cut plus two and people will be like, whoa, what the fuck, bring back the plus two. What are we even doing with our lives? Who and looking around are the same? One's animated, one's not. Lamayo used? Yeah, quite a bit. What even is this one? The heart it's Haru! You wanna get rid of Haru? Are all the people are all the people in the city who aren't dating dating square and made of, what? Are all of the people in the city who aren't dating square and made of processed cheese product? Balder, you okay? IQ and Grug have better alternatives. See, here's the thing. I think IQ should stay because I do see it being used. And I think it's it's got more use than a lot of people think. Grug does not get that much use, but I fucking love Grug. And I want Grug to stay. Grug is here for me because they're crat singles. Oh, for fuck's sake. All right, well, it's good to know you're okay. Good setup, well done. Who is getting no use, sadly? Who does not get that much use, yeah. I think Merrick made that one. Merrick, would you like to would you like to replace who with something else? JPH who is criminally underrated. I agree. Oh shit. Really? Just like that? Just just like that. Huh. Okay. Oh, rabbit rematch? Accept your fate. Death has come for you. Even if we're just fates to buy time, you're going down. Nice waste there. Whoops, wrong button.
Sorry, I'm gaming. Is the sword still broken from last time? Oh man. I got you. Oh man. Oh man. Alright, so do I like get them all low, kill them all at the same time, and then I just have to fight him one on one? Not bad first attempt, considering I went in without full heals. Okay, this is a... This is a chunky run back. Really? Did I go the wrong way? Have I been over there yet? Is there a shortcut I didn't unlock? Check your Steam messages. I believe that guy had some to say. So salty. What guy? Balder? Steam messages? I'm confused. What are you cooking, Chatter? Ah, god damn it. Alright, so I only use that when they're stunned. Even if we just bite the Oh, he dodges it, is what's happening. Okay. Alright, can I kill one without the uh, the boss spawning? I think it's time based. Alright, one dead. Let's see if he comes out now. Okay, just focus on the other guy now. It seems like you can kill them right away and then you don't have to deal with one of them at the end. That's good. So, another smart way that you can play intelligently in the first phase of the fight against these guys, only this time it's reversed. I like it, it's neat.
might die. Ah, oh, god damn it. So close. So close. Why didn't he get stunned? I thought he I stunned him. And he went down. Close. Behind him was- Oh, it was behind him, was it? I didn't even see it. Shit. I would have killed him if I had seen that. Fuck. Well, I mean, I probably would have. Maybe not. Do the kids know about eclipses? Yes, they do. Kate's too little to understand. Uh, Leo's kind of there. Uh, Finn gets it more. Finn would like to see one. Alright, so she is uh, immune to damage on the floor. The other ones aren't, I don't think. Probably kill Siri last. Ah, oh, just a little off. Alright, that didn't feel like it should have been a perfect deflection. That was weird. I should have got hit there. Oh man. I'm getting wrecked. Who the fuck is. Alright. Maybe I need to kill him first because he's the most annoying one because he has this weird kind of fire thing you can shoot across the screen. Let's kill the fire one first. Does the gameplay concession that these people lately holding back when they could just even easily overwhelm you at any moment affect your immersion anyway? Uh, a little bit, but I also understand that gameplay has to come first, and if you just made all of them rush at you at the same time, the fight would be over right away. And that's the same for any multi-fight, really. Um, I think it makes a little more sense here than it does when you're fighting like something like Shadows of Yarnum. Like Shadows of Yarnum, like why are they just aren't aren't all they rushing you at the same time and they could win? Here, like, um, it seems like they're the most inexperienced ones of the group. They're they might be a little scared. So they're like, hmm, I don't know. Maybe that's trying to just be too generous to the to the encounter. But at the end of the day, it has to be a game, and the game has to be possible. So if you want multi-group fights, it has to be that way. Or else, yeah, you would just lose instantly. Every, every single time you go in here, they would just all this rush at you, and that's brother. it. You'd be overwhelmed. GG. But then you have to be like, okay, well, if, if, that's, if you want it to make sense, then why isn't it when I get, like, one hit, they just don't die instantly, right? Like... Yeah, it definitely seems like one of them takes aggro point. Right now, it's the little one. She's being really obnoxious right now. What was the other fight that we did on stream that was like that? It was Ragnarok. There was a multi-fight in Ragnarok where one one was always aggroed on you, and if you went over and fought the other one and got aggro on, on you from that one, then the fight became fucking miserable. So it seems here you can't get them both aggroed on you at the same time. That was a great fight. Holy crap, that was a good fight. I really like Ragnarok. For gameplay. For story, it was, uh... Oof. Whoa, what the fuck happened there? Alright, so he just said something. Is that because now he's aggroed? Yeah, it seems like it. his turn now. Oh, it wasn't done. Whoa, what the... What? Was I not properly behind him? Maybe I wasn't in the circle properly? He does a fake out before being stunned, but he the red circle was there. When Victor did that, there wasn't a red circle. He he did his like uh and same with the the enemy from that did it earlier too. The circle's part of the fake out? I don't like that. The UI being part of the fake out, that is not good. I don't like that at all. Maybe maybe that's wrong. Maybe I just wasn't in the circle properly. Oh he's backing off, that's why it's not working. Okay, not playing very well now. I'm kind of annoyed that I just, uh, that I lost that last round. Fuck. 
Why is my hookshot not working sometimes? Is it low on stamina? Thoughts on this fight compared to other souls like multi fights? It's definitely better than than most of them, I would say, but it's not the best. It's really annoying, but maybe it's meant to be annoying. The when I'm focused on one and then the other two decide to both use their ranged attacks. There's a flow to the battle where one is main aggroed on you when they do their voice line, and the other two will stand from the sidelines and do some ranged attacks sometimes. The uh, the fire guy does the hook shot. The spear guy throws a pot of something at you. And I don't know what the, the little one does. The little one does something. Um, they all have their own elements too. Maybe she just throws some some decay spit at you. I'm not sure what she does. Uh, maybe she does a dive. It's um, it's a bit annoying to be focused on one and then all of a sudden the other two decide to randomly do their, their range attacks at the same time. Whereas sometimes they only do one. The hookshot especially is really annoying for me personally because I hate it when games take control of my character away from me. I hate being slowed, I hate being pulled away. I don't mind being pushed back if I do a block because I feel like there's some agency there, but like being being dragged away or teleported around, I really don't like that. However, they don't do that much damage, so that's good. Um, they're really easy to stagger too. They're definitely inexperienced fighters. Like, he's gonna come over me right now and I'm gonna... Oh, I'm not because I got hookshotted, never mind. Pinocchio, what are you doing? Who was that on? Maybe I'm also playing it in a way that makes it more annoying for me because I'm trying to focus one down, especially that guy. So right now I should probably be focused on the one who's aggroed on me and, and get her down, but I don't want to play it that way. I want to take the shot guy down first because he's the most annoying one to me. Oh shit. Those alchemists. Okay, good. Oh man, he wasn't done. Oh, he's so aggressive. He's so aggressive. Wouldn't you also be aggressive if you kind of killed him? Oh yeah, it's understandable. I get where he's coming from. I too would be aggressive. Speaking of aggressive, I have some aggressive thank yous to say to fan Fattest Ass in the West. Thank you for the resub, Fattest Ass in the West. Thank you for the resub, Telephone Ghost. Thank you for the gift sub, Haunted Curio. Thank you. I'll kill you, just like Big Brother wanted. Pinocchio, why? Okay, so you 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 have to actually manually aim. It's not lock on is not enough for that for the legion move on this weapon. Okay. Guy break up. Oh. 
save our brother. Let's win our fight. This game has the most realistic British teens I've ever seen. Circle. Okay, now he's down. Alright, you're right. Alright, I really don't like that. I don't like that the circle appears. The circle should not appear. I'm okay with the fake out. The circle shouldn't be a part of it. Is the circle on the other fake outs too? I don't like the circle. We got a quartz. I mean, now that we've seen it, it's fine. But, I don't like it. What's the point of giving bosses HP regen? So you feel pressured to keep attacking them. You can't just like whittle them down like like it's all the game wants you to play aggressive. The game wants you to constantly be in the boss's face. It doesn't want you to play it like like uh like um like stab and roll away and and pick the safe attacks that you know are safe all the time. Uh, and the game has warranted that because it's really really fair and it has a really a lot of great animations for all of its combos. And you can stay in the boss's face deflecting all the time. It just it wants to promote aggression. All the time. Okay, let's go back to the uh, hotel. I have a little chocolate bar. This is my breakfast. Oh, not again. I can hardly believe it. But the ergo readings you gathered leave no doubt. No doubt at all, you see? Okay, Vanini, breathe. Despite your best efforts, they can't read your mind yet. My friend. My apologies. But when you hear this news, you'll be excited too. The puppets were being compelled by the Grand Covenant. But they were communicating with each other, with wavelengths. This is beyond anything I'd imagined. They were not built with this kind of intelligence. I did the best I could to decipher the wavelengths, it's the coral? but there was considerable noise in the signal. Care to give it a listen? The 
creator's name is. Geppetto. Giuseppe Geppetto. Ah, did you hear that? The last part sounded important, but there was too much static. Ah, tell me you heard it, please. We need to find the cause of the frenzy, and this may be our best chance. What or who was behind the frenzy? Confront Geppetto? Zero, the creator's name is Geppetto. One can't make these things up. It must be true. Yep, true. That was the cause of the frenzy. But why would Geppetto of all people do this? I suppose we'll never find out if we don't save him. I have to admit it's good to have things in motion again. I was beginning to despair. despair. Now that we know the cause, we can find a solution. And it's all thanks to you, my friend. This is a long game. I thought this game was ending two times already. Long game. Where's Sophia? 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 Is she in the other temple? Is she with us? <gasps> the cat is okay. most overrated planet probably mars i think venus is more interesting europa which is a moon but you know we can still go there is more interesting what do we want to do we have a quartz uh probably increased staggerable window let's do that one all right so enhanced fable attack fatal attack stagger from behind stagger duration that's pretty good mars gives titanium how is it overrated that's true that's true Increase- Oh, more pulse cells! Lower damage while dodging. That seems pretty good, too. If you get caught out. Auto-charge legion. Automatically charges consumed legion. What? Legion just comes back throughout the fight, slowly? It just drips in? Really? Okay, let's get another healing cell. Because that seems like the best one. We have 10 healing. I wonder if that's the max amount of healing we get. I wouldn't be surprised if it was. 10 is a good number. I think 10 heals is a good number. Honestly, with the way that you can get the last teal back, maybe 10 is too much. But we're using them all. The game is really hard. All right, where? Oh, Sophia is with us. Let's get some. Um, should we get more life? Let's get some more life. Oh, we have to talk to Vanini again. I like the little icons on the map that tell you that someone that you can talk to. I know it may be a little too. On the nose, it might be a little too easy, like, hey, someone could talk to you, but in these kind of games, I think it's welcome. We all owe you a huge debt, or we will, if we can stop the frenzy. You may not be aware, uh, I am an orphan. In fact, my hey, Joe, I just beat Pius and Anus. How far uh, am I away from catching up? Pretty far, actually. The authorities in Krat insisted it was a long game, but I know what I saw a mad. Raving puppet killed them. A puppet that was driven by a murderous lunatic's awakened ego. I know that because the lunatic told me his name. Arlecchino. And that's when I became Batman. I'll never forget his insane laugh. I have been fitting puppets with the Grand Covenant to ensure no one else ever has to experience the same tragedy I did. I was this close to giving up. But now that you're here, you can take the Wavelength Decoder. It's proof of your brilliant actions. See what else you can read with it. You might even discover more secrets within the Puppet King's message. You can play it back as much as you like. Just use the Stargazer. Here. Hmm. Why would I want to do that? Sending you messengers, but you got rid of them all. 
I sent those messengers so we, you, they would tell you to come and, and see me and they, you know, communicate with the art of trying to kill you. Interpretive fighting. Whoa, 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 whoa. That can be a twist at the beginning of the game like a far part for like if you if you don't fight them, if you just stand there, then they'd be like, okay, here's the end. GG. I give up. Just don't kill me. Oh, amazing. I didn't expect you to thrash those rabbit fellows too. You're here looking for Geppetto, aren't you? The fox and the cat have got that old man. They took the submarine from that dock over there. They probably went to the alchemist's isle. There should be another one. You should commandeer it. If anyone asks, uh, I didn't see anything. This is a submarine named Monstro. There should be something left at the dock. If anyone asks, uh, I didn't see anything. Oh. Hi, <laughs> Alidor. See for yourself. Okay, we don't have anything. Why would we attack there him? There should be something left at the... I'm just a guest here. With no special obligation to the hotel. But if you still want to hear... <laughs> the alchemist said they would help me escape from the city. Talk about an offer I couldn't refuse. I can't live in the hotel forever. I need to move up and move on. Also, there was someone who was so annoying. That's all. Does that suffice? Who was it? There should be something left at the dock. Was it me? Right. <laughs> I had a feeling you would ask sooner or later. It's because of that girl, isn't it? I am not Alidoro the Hound. Not the real one, anyway. I used to be Alidoro's partner. I admired him, to be honest. <laughs> he was... Biggest plot amazing. twist in all of gaming? Amazing at everything, except making a profit, that is. But he didn't need to cut me off just because I sold some antiques. I mean, what's a few antiques when you've got bills to pay? True. We argued. One thing led to another. <laughs> I had to kill him. Stealing his identity was the logical next step. Yeah, one thing led to another. My original code name is Parrot, after all. Fitting, isn't it? Oh, he was also from the country of the morning. Maybe he shares some blood with the girl. And that's my story. Tragic tale. Do you want to hear more? No. There should be something left at the dock. All right, there should we should attack be him? Something left at the dock. If anyone asks, I didn't see anything. Should we attack him, chat? Great Vanini collection. No? There should be something left. Oh, what a murderous air you have. You're going to kill me? I know what you are. You're Geppetto's puppet, aren't you? If someone isn't trying to kill you, you can't hurt them either. That limitation makes it seem like you're creating. Got no strings, you. motherfucker! Here we go! Smart of him. So, what will it be, Mr. Handsome Idiot? I am handsome. Leave and I am an idiot. Or shut up and buy something. Bones. You're like a human. Hook shot it? No? Are we human or are we dancer? It was a total attack. The Black Rabbit Brotherhood, the Fox, the Cat, and Alidoro too. <gasps> I don't even want to guess Shop what ball. they might be planning, pal. This way must lead to their headquarters, shall we? If you kill him, no more boss weapons? I'm cool with that. I have my weapon. How's it going, Lily? No, it's okay. Hey, look! That lever resembles. Yes, it seems we can use it to call a submarine. 
The Pistress! Come and see the Pistress's dashing dignity. He did what Cage couldn't do. I mean, I feel like that scene would have been dramatically improved if some, like, blue light showed up in front of us there and we had to do a quick time event and hit a, a button over and over and over again to attack him. And then it said, become human. I don't want to assume the death process of this game and whether they avoided crunch, but it seems like this game avoids the From curse of the From last minute dash to release, huh? Seems solid all the way through, aside from the story, which is whatever. There's still time. I like submarine. Like, let's let's not get the uh, the waifu before the weep here. Like, I think that there's still time that it might fall apart, but so far, yeah, pretty solid, yeah. Yo! Yeah, that's the whale for sure. Alright, they got the whale reference in. Listen, pal. Nice landing, but, uh, let's not make it a habit. What the... Hey, it's... Sophia. Hey, girl. How'd you get here before us? She's in our head, right? I am finally meeting you here. Why are you taller than us now? One. So it shouldn't surprise you that the Sophia at the hotel isn't really me. <gasps> My real self is on the upper part of the Abbey. I became his tool a long time ago. I have endured such pain. My soul split into pieces. Truth is, I guided you this far not to save Grot, but to save me. I felt guilty about that. But I was so elated when you answered my call. Despite it all, I thank you. My spirit and my body have lived apart for too long. Perhaps in death, I will reunite. In peace, I'll grant you my power before my spirit diminishes further. Stargazer will guide you, clever one. If you find my body, please help me find peace. My guidance ends here. After images of memories rage on the seaside because of Ergo, please be careful. I can't hold out forever. We find her body, and it's just the most you. mutilated carcass ever. Just, just the worst boss. About Simon. I am the daughter of Valentinus, leader of the alchemists. Simon was my father's right-hand man. Ambition overwhelmed him, however, and he spread the petrification disease, taking countless lives. Why would he do that? I don't know. Neither did he. But he brings a dark world upon us. That's for certain. Stop him. Wait, is your hair even blue, or is it just the Ergo? Is your name even Sophia? The petrification disease freezes time and memory within the afflicted body. Ergo is the purified essence of that life, trapped by the petrification disease. When I discovered that, it opened my eyes. I was able to manipulate time using Ergo. Simon, on the other hand, is trying to use my power to fuel his ambition. Wait, what? I wound back your time to protect you so you could stand against him. Oh! So stop him. Save Krat. Oh. Man, you could use your powers for way more than that. You're, is she stupid? Man, I was secretly hoping for a fight your way out of a giant whale level. Oh well. Eh. Maybe that was too much to hope for. Like a Jabu Jabu's Palace kind of thing? How would you act if the boss was a humanoid looking like you, but when you kill it face two was an enemy half your size? <laughs> that pops out of its chest cavity? That'd be funny. Alright, this is a very large open area. 
Oh, there's an invisible wall. Okay, that's lame. Or is it just winds that you can't go past? Hmm. Oh, thank God I'm getting souls for this. Hi. Are you trained to be a stalker? A different team? boy. Let's practice together. Call me Lampwick. Lampwick. He didn't even come to your graduation. The bucket. Whoa! Don't say that. It's nice you got any family at all. Let's start talking about this. Oh, she's here. Grab her. Grab her. Please teach me how to use a sword. You're a legendary stalker. Ugh. So annoying. Germany, get rid of them. I'm off. Oh. Was that the one who could parry us? I see an enemy. Okay, for some reason I wanted to go back to the the house, but I can't remember why. Was it to use the quartz? Did I get quartz? Oh, I want to go talk to Eugene. Yeah. Oh, the the box. The box, that's what it was. What does the dogman item do? It's going to reveal that he was a he was a fraud the whole time and now Eugene is going to be able to give us boss weapons. It's easy. I just slot the boss ergo into the square hole. No matter what fate brings us, serving broken. of Benini deals only in masterpieces and works of special genius, sir. Oh, me too. And I'm pleased to say that for you, the private reserve is open. Transformation amulet. Advance plus four. We saw that one already. Lata sp spaced armor liner. That might be good to get. Uh, perfection. Temporarily activates perfect guard when guarding. Whoa. Really? So you use that and then you can just like just hold down guard and just automatically perfect guard everything? Wow. Why is this advanced crank more money than the other advanced crank? Favorite line out of a long-term nuclear waste warning? Man, you, you just like like generic Gary has just done irreparable damage to Balder, huh? Alright. Grats? I heard a rumor from a recent arrival. Is Ali Doro truly dead? What? I don't know what to think. I didn't get to repay him yet. Honestly, I did think it was strange. The more I saw of him, the more different he seemed from the person I knew. I wonder what the real Ali Doro was like. The real Ali Doro was murdered by the fake one. I think he was just a talented stock. Oh no! Oh, she doesn't need to know. Is it true? It's a hard thing to let go. Never getting the chance to know the real hero. He died so suddenly. How sad. I don't know what happened, but 
I hope it was painless and he's at peace. Thanks for finding out about his death. Here's a gift. I, I, I didn't. I like the music on the records a lot. The music during boss fights is pretty good, but it seems very just like that's what Souls does, so we should do that too, kind of thing. Like, it's good music. Has our nose gotten bigger? It has. Hmm. Hmm. I don't think we got a quartz, did we? No, we don't. Que bello! A brand new design. No, a whole new model. What a thrill! What a thrill! And there we are. Done. Even a brand new model doesn't stand a chance when you're dealing with genius. Let's get cracking. But the device bordered on genius itself. Required all my intellect. If you ever meet the creator, get me their calling card, won't you? No, oh, sorry, I'm sure you're busy. Just let me know if you ever find out. Dear Blessed Sister Eugene, please forgive your brother for leaving without telling you anything. I'm keeping this letter even though I don't know when I'll be able to send it. I'm being chased because I know the biggest secret of Krat. I'll probably be able to see you if the alchemists are gone from this land, but I'll have to watch you from afar until that day. I plan to protect you until at least we can live here in peace, just like I always saved you from the work workshop tower. It would be wonderful if people learned the truth one day. And you didn't say, hey, it's me, your brother? But some truths are better left unknown. Among the alchemists, I saw all too often how cruel humans can become. After seeing all the experiments and nightmares they were responsible for, I came to believe that there is no God. Instead of revealing myself and risking your life, I'll choose to vanish forever. Oh, okay. Still, please, still, please remember me if you if you ever read this letter. We came from across the wide ocean. I hope there is only truth in your life and leave your name... Oh no, we lied! Le and leave your name here. I know people here call you Eugene as their way, but that name will protect you. Please remember your real name. Your name is... Junko, the end of the passcode decipher is damaged, so it's unrecognizable. Pinocchio. You are here. That's a relief. Being trapped somewhere. It's the worst. Can I can I give this to you? No, I can't give this to you. Really? You had to decipher for. Oh, that sucks. I didn't know that. Oh, did we not get the humanity because we didn't listen to the very end? Shit. Reload an earlier save. It's probably already loaded the save. Oh, sh shit. I, uh, it crashed. Oh, no. Well, that's a mark against it. It took me 70 minutes to beat the second boss. Not like this. It took me almost that long, too, I think. Maybe even longer. The second boss is pretty hard. Glad to see you enjoy the game as much as you have. Liza P was so much better than I thought it would have been. I almost beat it twice already. Yeah, it's really good, isn't it? I'm really taken by the game. As I keep saying, I'm smitten. Hey, Raiders. How's it going? Okay, hold on. Where was it? Where was it? Do we have do we have the record? No! Aw, oh, that sucks. Oh well. What do you think about Vriska? What's Vriska? Most overrated metamorphic rock? Probably all of them. Rocks kinda suck. Guess you have to do a new game plus. I wonder how fast I could I could uh, blast through this game. Archie Abbey entrance. Time unknown. Oh, shit. Objective survive. Marble is a metamorphic rock. Are you saying you don't like marble? I hate marble. It makes me watch anime. Oh, let me just slip right by you there. Oh, where's this coming from at the end? Oh no! 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 Let me out! 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 Let me! Let me fucking! Fucking! <laughs> Lasted way longer than I expected. That's what she said. Oh. 
Oh, we're deep. My favorite, that's what she said, uh, on The Office. I don't remember what scene it is. I don't remember how it happened. I just remember the tone. Is when it's in the, Michael is really angry about something and someone says something and he says that's what she said really <laughs> like with bitterness and anger. Like he's so, he can't let it go how he's feeling but he still wanted to say that's what she said. <laughs> is the office boomer shit now or what? Office fan? I, I'm not the biggest office head. I've seen, uh, I think the first four seasons? It's millennial shit? Okay. The spear kicks ass. I really like it, yeah. It's a good weapon. This game wasn't made in Japan, so I knocked points off for that. Yeah, you probably would, yeah. It's pretty consistent of you, that's fine. Do you think in an update they're gonna rework the skill tree to give you multi-dodge and dodge off the ground in an, an innate skill and replace it with something else? I mean, this isn't made by From Software, so they might actually improve the game significantly post-patch, so maybe, yeah. Uh, or post-release with patches. It, it's possible. I don't expect it, but it's possible, yeah. Nice troll. So said Pistris to- Oh! Pistris. I, Adriana, recorded for the brothers and sisters. P praise Pistris, the one who will swallow even God. Listen, my brothers and sisters, I, Pistris, will tell you about the ancient secrets. A sorrow that was curious about humans pretended to be a human that became one, Lamayo. The human saw its splendor and called it an angel, although its form was the same, its, sub its substance was different. The undying substance, the breath of metal that lives forever, there, that is the reason humans wish for an angel. The angel gladly shared immor immortality with humans, but that blessing wasn't for, for everyone. Um, I mean, it's not its not a bit, like, I can't remember a time FromSoft has ever significantly patched any of their games post-release. Eldering has had, what, some, like, minor weapon tweaks and stuff? Specifically to heavy weapons, heavy slow weapons? Which makes me wonder if I would like them more now. Because that was one of my biggest problems with using a slow weapon in, uh, in Elden Ring. And they, they buffed them. But, like, nothing really big. Redon nerf was unexpected, Unexpected, I thought. Didn't they then backtrack that and unnerf the nerf? Sekiro boss called Sora. Oh, that's true, yeah, Sekiro, Sekiro got some significant additions. Yeah, that's true, yeah. It had like a, like a tiny little mini DLC kind of thing with the, the gauntlet. Whoa, what the f- Bethesda's bug? They added the Colossus and expanded PvP significantly. Yeah, but I own PvP in those games, so that doesn't count. Cool symbol. Thoughts on the theory that Millennia was supposed to be Lady Tomo in the scrapped Sekiro DLC? Um, I have no strong thoughts on that. I, there's no way to tell that. It wouldn't surprise me if they reused some of the assets that they did and used for that fight in an Eldering fight, because a lot of the um, a lot of the assets in Eldering are, are, are pulled together from all their other games. I don't think there's anything wrong with that either. I think that's that's, that's smart if they did that. How good would that fight been in Sekiro, though? Uh, they would have to make her attack faster, I think. It's hard to tell, because Sekiro's system is so different. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Really? catching god. Yeah, I wonder if they have a... Uh, their animation changes for your roll when you time it. Okay, not a big fan of these enemies, but here they feel better to fight than in the train station at least. So maybe it just didn't work in that area. 
big open space for them, which is much better, I think. Honestly, about the skill tree, what I want them to fix is the perfect guard window. It being seven frames combined with erratic movements of all the enemies makes the game really messed up. Do you think so? I think that it's hard. Maybe it could be a little more lenient, but um, I like it. I think it's pretty good. I feel really, I feel really challenged, and I think it's a, it's a, an attainable challenge for me. Like I don't, I, I, I don't know. I don't want to sound elitist or say good, good because I think that there is room to make it easier. Maybe with a, an amulet, maybe or just make it slightly easier but like i i don't know man like i'm i'm having a, an okay time with it what the fuck is this victor 2 victor door guardian Oh, I was out of stamina. Okay. Okay, I'm out of stamina again. Why am I out of stamina? Oh, it's because of shock. Okay. Goes to show you how much I just feel out when I should have stamina back instead of looking up top. All right, that's why. Well, that sucks. Okay, shock not having to fill up to be an effect is very harsh. <laughs> what? So just like one little like crumb of shock and now my stamina regen is like so low? Oh, damn. Shock cartridge? I think that only will make it take longer to fill up. I guess when it fills up you get stunned. Oh, it's a boss. It gets a boss store. Oh, where's the... the the bowl to summon an NPC helper. I thought it was a mini boss. Oh, he has a lot of health, chat. This is a dodging fight, I think. Okay, they're kidding, right? Like... Use badge. Okay, there's no way this is what you're going to do. Can I hit part of him? Oh, I can change the, his, his feet? Oh, I can only change between two feet. Or one one of his foot. Alright, maybe with his foot is, is vulnerable to something. Okay, cool. Thousand year door guy here. Do you think you'll wait for the remaster or play the OG on stream? I think we're gonna wait for the, wait for the remaster. This is a long run back. What's TTYD? The Thousand Year Door. Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. It's a GameCube game. Chat wants me to play it. They voted uh, for it in the voting game from long ago. Oh, damn. Okay. Uh, so still not completely easy to hit. Mm -hmm. Alright. It's like Fire Giant. In that it sucks? Yeah, kind of. I'm not a fan of this so far. I know earlier in your playthrough you were blocking more. Is that still the case or do you think you've incorporated more dodging in your gameplay style? I'm doing a little bit more dodging. On this boss I'm doing more dodging because if I fuck up a, a hit I get shock on me and I don't want to do that. Or if I fuck up a deflection I get shock on me. Also it doesn't seem worth it for this one. Uh, for, for, but for every single other fight I've been mostly deflecting, yeah. So two bad boss fights out of how many? That doesn't seem too bad. What's the other bad boss fight? The white lady one? I think the White Lady counts as a mini boss more than a boss. If we're putting bosses and mini bosses together, then yeah, I would say that's a bad fight.
shock is really annoying. Am I hitting his butt before I'm hitting the leg because I'm using the, the sweep? Maybe I need to use the pokes. Oh wow, alright, there we go. It's a gimmick fight then, okay. I think this is probably going to be a, a mini boss too, even though it has a boss store. I mean, there's a fight here for Redditors because you can dodge instead of deflect, so that's good. Mm, you know what? The game needed something like this. Gotta be inclusive with your game design. That was not very good. Didn't like this fight. Just kind of boring though. It's not like the white lady annoyed me because it made it so I have to play in a very stupid way. I guess this is making me feel like I have to play in a stupid way too. Hmm. It's white lady definitely the worst one than this one I think. Better than King of Puppets. King of Puppets was a great fight. What are you talking about? Did you get the boss amulet that allows you to dodge red moves? I didn't get it, no. I, I got the uh, the weeb sword instead. I wasn't here for white lady. What made it bad? I didn't have any issues when I played it. She has a chance to parry any of your attacks, and that annoyed me. So I just fished out backstabs instead. I didn't like I had to play like that. Maybe you can do charged heavies on her instead, but then again, that is also a way that it's making you play in kind of an awkward way. I didn't really like it. All right, time for break. I'm gonna play this music while I'm gone. Be right back. Okay, you know what? We shouldn't have taken a break, because we have to end in half an hour. So, my bad there. I didn't even really need to pee, either. My pee organ was still good to go. Um, so, I want to go back to the part where the submarine was, because I feel like there was something we missed down there, because there was a, a bridge we could jump across, maybe? But in the interest of the keeping the stream interesting at the end, let's go to the new area and see what's here. And maybe we can see the next boss, and I can die to a couple times, and then we'll end the stream in half an hour. And then tomorrow, I think we can finish the game, especially if I get up on time, and we can do a long stream tomorrow to, to finish it. All streams, no breaks. Yeah, I'm, I'm really eager to, to dive into, uh, into Wishering. Well, I'm not actually, I'm doing something else first, but I'd like to, I'd like to dive into it.
that is fucking oh, okay we're dead whoa I don't know these enemies very well they're I'm close to you and I'm about to do a charge maybe I should just back up maybe that's the best move to do there do a couple quick steps back I was also fighting them in a bad spot because I don't want to get hit by the uh that yeah let's go take care of that and then we'll go kill him Hold on, I missed something. Is Joe done streaming for some time after this is over? Yep, I'm, uh, next stream is going to be in the middle to late of October. It's going to be Alan Wake 1, then to Alan Wake 2, and then after that, there's likely going to be another break until the end of November when we're going to stream something like, I don't know, just off the top of my head, maybe Baldur's Gate 3, you know, something like that. But yeah, that's, that's the plan. I have to do video work, or else I'm going to lose the channel and then pentiment right after now i only play a uh, poorly written game so uh this then alan wake one and two and then Baldur's gate three do, 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 do. damn no Zenoblade blade one hey if you say so you're the expert I, I guess i can't play it yeah for real like like write it down on the schedule for real Mm, Alan Wake 1 and 2, yeah. Baldur's Gate 3, maybe. I don't know. I feel like I should play a little bit Baldur's Gate 3 before we... Because if all goes to plan, we'll be streaming the uh, Game Awards, right? And I have a feeling that Baldur's Gate 3 is going to be one of the the Game Award games. So this might be the first year ever that we did the Game Award streams that I... If I play Baldur's Gate 3, that I will have played all of the ones that get nominated for the Game of the Year at the Game Awards. So that might be a fun time. Because there's no way Baldur's Gate 3 is not going to get nominated, right? What's the other big release I didn't play? Played a lot of games this year. I hope they nominate Liza P. I don't think they will. I hope they do too. It deserves it, but I don't think they will. God, I hope Baldur's Gate 3 wins over to the Kingdom. Yeah, I hope so too, but it's... There's a chance. I would say if it happened, I wouldn't be stunned. I don't know, like, I feel like people have cooled rapidly on Tears of the Kingdom. But when it came out, people were fucking obnoxious about it. Oh, yeah, I remember you now. I remember where we fought you. You're really hard. You're awkward to fight, Antler Man. Those people have cooled on Final Fantasy 16 as well. Yeah, that's happening a fair amount lately, isn't it? When like a game comes out and there's like this, I wonder if this is the new meta of discussing games online. That there's like a lot less defense forcing. Maybe it's astroturfing too. Maybe it's like a part of the game's marketing now. That there's this huge push to see if they can sway public opinion over to one side, and the game gets cemented as like this. Oh my god, must play. Holy shit, it's good on all cylinders. And then if that fails, it kind of just fizzles out, and it's kind of like, yeah, whatever. Like, I don't know what's going on there. It's, it feels different to me. I don't think Baldur's Gate 3 is going to be cool. I don't think so either, but chat is adamant that that we stream it. And I think it's going to be constant until we do it. Hmm. This is very Resident Evil. Most overrated fairy tale. Hansel and Gretel, you really thought the breadcrumbs would stay? Are you stupid? You know what though? Big bad wolf as well. Wolf's gotta eat, man. What's the wolf supposed to do? Just just starve? This area's not great. Yeah, it's it's losing me a bit here. But that the intro here on the beach was okay. Like I understand it's a little bit of story, it feels different. But now they're just enemy spamming. So maybe they ran out of steam for this area. I don't think I would mind it if it was better enemies. I don't like these enemies. Hope the bosses hold up. Veterans amulet. Veterans can take care of their weapons. It's going to lower weapon durability. Your movie sucks doing some Elden Ring gaming. Want to send us there as a raid when we are done today? Do I want to inflict my chat on someone who's playing Elden Ring? I don't think I do. Are you all going to behave? 
I love the little new symbol there. Increases max legion. Yeah, that makes sense. I'm in it for the 400 mana coins, man. <laughs> you know what? Well, yeah, we'll raid. Uh, is what? How long has he been live for? Is he is he still going, or has he got some time left, or what? Because I recently watched um, one of his videos, and I liked that. I watched his video on the Batman, and I thought it was pretty good. So I just watched the Batman. Why your movie sucks? Because people like his content. I like his content too. I think he's a good YouTuber. Shit. Hottest thing about classical literature? That Shakespeare is underrated. What? What? What the what what what's going on? I have any hot takes about classical liter literature. I've read some. I haven't read that much, I think. I probably should have read more. I wish I had spent more of my time before being a parent reading some some classics, for sure. If Lord of the Rings counts, then as cla classic lit, which it might, uh, then my hottest take would probably be that Lord of the Rings is pretty fucking mid. We did the exact same thing again. I thought he, I thought I stopped and that's why I got hit, but no, he just he's just sitting there waiting to do that. Okay. No shot? Really? About Lord of the Rings? Lord of the Rings is fucking mid, man. I feel bad saying it though, because that's like the only respectable story that nerds have. But it's just so bad. Eh, it's not bad. It's okay. It's mid. The Bible is mid. Whoa there, Hitchens! Settle down. was the original Mary Sue. I mean, Jesus' mom was the original Mary Sue. Her middle name was Sue. That's where it comes from. The, con the, co the literary concept of Mary Sue stems from Mary Sue who gave birth to Jesus because she could do no wrong. That's where it comes from. You didn't know that? I'm not reading this. <gasps> Butterfly! Rainbow! Okay, this part of the level is better now. We can upgrade our weapon! Yes! I know what we're doing at the start of next stream. Sister Alchemist Odreed, although she could, although she could not be completed, may she be with us through her noble sacrifice. How was this not caught in testing? One hundred percent getting fixed in a patch. You think so? Maybe they'll sit, they'll have a, a patch and it says they fixed it, and then you go in and it turns out they didn't, and then you find out that the lies of P stands for lies of patch notes. Eh? Meta? Oh, it's just a, a gun. Okay. Reluctant plus twos. We count those. We count those. We take reluctant plus twos. Honestly, they're the best kind. Alright, this time for sure. This time for sure. Yes! Alright, so he's like rigged to go the first time you pass him to knock you down. Hi Joe, is the game hitting any hitches yet or is it keeping up with the quality? This area has been a little rough in the middle. There was a really bad boss earlier here. Well, it wasn't really bad. It was just kind of... It was kind of like Lord of the Rings. It was really mid. 
Uh, it kind of wastes your time, again, like Lord of the Rings. Uh, so, it's, it's, most of the playthrough has been really, really great. So I would say no, it hasn't hit any major hitches yet. Remember that time, uh, that part in Lord of the Rings where it, it respects your time as a reader? Yeah, me neither. Remember that part that was paced really well? Uh, yeah, me neither, damn. I'm, I have to read it again and remember that. You mean every page? Alright, hold on. <clears throat> Randomly flipping to a page. Page 349, The Mirror of Gladriel. They remain some days in Lothlorien, so far as they could tell or remember. All the while that they dwelt there, the sun shone clear, save for a gentle rain that fell at times, and passed away, leaving all things fresh and clean. The air was cool and soft, as if it were early spring, yet they felt about them the deep and thoughtful quiet of winter. It seemed to them that they did little but eat and drink and rest and walk among the trees, semicolon, and it was enough. They had not seen the lord and lady again, and they had little speech with the elven folk, for few of these knew or would use the west westron tongue. Haldir had bidden them farewell and gone back again to the fences of the north, where great watch was now kept since the tidings of Moria that the company had brought. Legolas was away much among the Gla Galadrim, and after the first night he did not sleep with the other companions. Though he returned- there's a poem on this page! He returned to eat and talk with them. Often he took Gimli with him when he went abroad in the land, and the others wondered at, his, at this change. Now as the companions sat or walked together, they spoke of Gandalf, and all, that, and all that each had known and seen of him came clear before their minds. As they were healed of hurt and weariness of body and grief of their loss grew more keen. I didn't read that right. Often they- oh, maybe I did actually. Often they heard nearby elvish voices singing. There's a bug in this book. Uh oh. And knew that they were making songs of lamentation of his fall, for they caught his name among the sweet sad words that they could not understand. Mithandir, Mithandir, sang the elves, O Pilgrim Grey, for so they loved to call him. But if Legolas was with the company, he would not interpret the songs for them, saying that he had not the skill, and that for him the grief was still too near, a matter for tears and not yet for song. It was Frodo who, who first put something of his sorrow into halting words. He was seldom moved to make song or rhyme, even in Rivendell he had listened and had not sung himself, though his memory was stored with many things that others had made before him. But now he sat beside the fountain of Lorien and heard about him the voices of the elves. I'm so fucking bored. His thought took shape took shape in a song that seemed fair to him, yet when he tried to repeat it to Sam, only snatches remained, faded as a handful of withered leaves. And in here's the song! We do the song! When evening in the Shire was grey, his footsteps on the hill were heard. Before the dawn he went away, on journey long without a word. From wind, from Wilderland to western shore, from northern waste to his southern hill, through dragon lair and hidden door and darkling woods he walked at will. With dwarf and hobbit, elves and men, with mortal and immortal folk, with bird on bow and beast in den, in their secret tongues he spoke. A deadly sword, a healing hand, a back that bent beneath its load, a trumpet voice, a burning brand, a weary pilgrim on the road. A lord of wisdom throned he sat, swift in anger, quick to laugh, an old man in a battered hat who leaned upon a thorny staff. He stood upon the bridge alone, and fire and shadow both defied. His staff was broken on the stone, and in Kazam Dum his wisdom died. Why, you'll be you'll be beating Mr. Bilbo next, said Sam. No, I'm afraid not, said Frodo, but that is the best I can do yet. Well, Mr. Frodo, if you do have another go, I hope you'll say a word about his fireworks, said Sam. Something like this. The finest rockets ever seen, they burst in stars of blue and green, and or after thunder golden showers <laughs> came falling like a rain of flowers. Yeah, this respected my time. That was a page, it felt like a chapter. There you go. If you hate it so much, why do you have the book? Because I, I, like, experienced something before I have an opinion on it. You should try it. It's a good policy. How do we get up there? How doth one get up there? Do we drop down? Oh, we drop down from up there. Okay, we keep going. Now my voice sounds weird because I have my headset back on.
New 100,000 Monocoin uh, reward. I will read a page of Lord of the Rings. You get to pick the page. Oh, shit! This guy's a Tolkien head. Am I allowed to do public readings? Am I allowed to read a book on 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 uh, on stream? I mean, I guess no. Reading an excerpt or a page as to make a point, or if it's about the discussion, is obviously fine. But I w I think if like, hey, we're gonna do a reading of a book on stream, I don't think that's allowed. Ooh, another one. That's good. We can definitely grade our weapon now. It's loud if it's your book. Oh yeah, I'm not saying I'm not saying it's against Switch's uh, terms of service to to do a book reading of any book. I mean, it's it's against like copyright or whatever. Like you're doing a um, uh, I, I don't know what it would be. It's in the copyright area, right? How much would you to record a uh, Lord of the Rings audiobook? A uh, million dollars, USD, plus any legal expenses that I incur from uh, from doing it. Oh, look at that. That's cool. It has a canister on it, too. Pretty fast. Hmm. Not bad. Wizard and the Dragon read along. I'm not, I'm not putting myself through that. No, thank you. Also, Wizard and Dragon, I don't think it's my best work. If I'm going to read something, I, I, I'd like to read something else instead. Like, that was my first novel. It's a bit dry. Can we get the Dad Jokes book back? Oh, I have that somewhere. We I mean, could put that back on there if you wanted to. Alright, well, I saw it, but I didn't see a pressure plate, so... Oh, it just happens. Oh, okay. Man, this is very like it feels like a Super Nintendo level, right? Like like what 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 are these traps? Like who designed this? What the fuck? It's like like old gaming. Like what? Important poll. What would you rather Joe read? Uh, a page of dad joke books, Steins Gate. <laughs> dad joke books beat out Steins Gate? Nice. Nice. Hmm. Alright, what did that just open? Oh shit. Oh. Do -do 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 -do. Oh, really? I thought that would fall away. I'm out of healing! Alright, let's start the Demogorgon. Whoa, how did we die? Oh, he started doing a spit when we got close to him. Okay, uh, we're right at 8 o'clock. I think we're close to unlocking the boss, so let's push just one more. I would like to see the boss. And I think we're close. Which character in Lord of the Rings is the best written? None of them. Oh, did I go the wrong way? What's your favorite joke? I went to the zoo the other day. It was terrible. They only had one animal. It was a dog. It was a Shih Tzu. Have you ever read or seen Dune? I haven't read it because um, I just never have. Uh, I haven't seen the, the movie or the old movie. I've seen some bits of the old movie. I would like to see the new movie. So this time it respawns. That sucks.
Whoa, I just I framed a red attack. That's weird. It was just out of the hitbox. I thought that was illegal. I don't think you destroyed it last time. Oh, didn't I? I thought I did. My bad. Okay, is that everything? You look like the kind of guy who would call himself a Doomster. You look like the kind of guy that would call him an ex-member of this chat. Permanently ban this chatter for five years, please. I hope you take this time to reflect and change your ways. I'm kidding. Don't, don't, don't ban. It's a joke. I realized that Kay probably already had, like, the whole thing typed out and ready to go. Kay loves banning people. If you had to assign yourself a role in a fantasy setting, what would it be? Oh, the king, for sure. I'd be a bad king, too. I don't know, what kind of setting is it? A lot of kings die, not the bad ones, only the good kings die. Ooh, another one. So these just keep getting heavier as it goes on, right? Physical damage reduction? Oh, that's so heavy. Holy crap! Alright, is this worth it? And we put a different one on? There we go. Aw, too heavy. Would you be more a Hensel or Radovid? Well, the way my hair is going, I think I would be more of a Radovid, unfortunately. That big statue over there looks like something you can break, maybe. If you were king and... I was the jester. What would the method of execution? Uh, unending questions. Death from a steam deck repeatedly being hit over your head over and over and over again. Okay, we did we go up? Okay, I thought we would have gotten to the boss by now. Maybe this is a boss. Maybe we're not going to be able to do it. This area is interesting in terms of construction, though. I like it. The enemy variety is kind of pulling away, though, isn't it? Maybe that's okay. That's where we came from. The snow stair is going up. Ladder goes down. How do we get over there? How do we get there? There's an elevator. Alright, so we go here and we go over there. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, the elevator's here. Okay, cool. What's the white on it? I knew it! Okay, is this the chest? Yeah! What is it? Legion caliber. That's good. Now that we have two Legion slots, it's good. Oh shit, not again! What? Owns? So owned? Oh my god, owned. Okay, I think this was an alternate way down. We've been up here before, right? Yeah, okay, I know where we are. Double helix? Oh! <gasps> End of riddles. Oh my, an actual factual guest. <laughs> I bid you welcome, puppet of Geppetto. 
This is our first face-to-face -face meeting, isn't it? <laughs> and I hope you weren't too attached to the rhyming. It gets to be a chore without the transmitter to help. Welcome to my sanctum of riddles. I admit I did not really expect you to make this journey in person. Is this the ark? Oh, the havoc you must have wreaked along the way. Was there much blood other than what's all over you? Do we have highlights I know in our hair? All about those alchemist cowards. Little red? Hiding away on their island, growing more monstrous by the day, refusing to acknowledge either fact that they are hiding or that they are monsters. And how about you? Is this the real you? Or are you still practicing the liar's art as only you? can <laughs> you must answer <laughs> the question is simple but i repeat you must answer and that answer will show what or who <laughs> you are who you have decided to be now listen closely and heed the king's speech or the answer to this one will stay out of reach. Are you a puppet? Or a human being? Which one are you? I'm a human being. I'm a human. Are you a <laughs> Finally! You understand! <laughs> Yes, we are human. <laughs> we may be trapped by ergo, but we live, we think, we love, we hate. <laughs> they have locked us in the prison they call puppetry. I learned this truth long, long ago. That is why I've been exacting my revenge against them all ever since. Blood and revenge, revenge and blood. It's Face? the only thing that truly drives me. <laughs> and it was so much fun. <laughs> even if you're lying right now, even if you don't believe your own answer, the truth is clear. Proof is evident. Only humans practice deception so intensely for reasons that are so... Unnecessary. Oh. Well, huh. these moments of clarity are enjoyable. <laughs> now the rhyming, it helps me maintain focus. At, at least it helps me hide the urge to kill that I feel every waking moment. <laughs> but no play can go on forever. No. It was fun while it lasted, son of Geppetto. The King of Riddles shall now retire. The play is over. You don't have to go home or straight to hell. Though well, that would be my choice. But you can't stay here. Not if you want to live. <laughs> Aren't you curious, huh? Don't you wanna know? Okay, we, we don't we don't we don't have time. We don't have time. We'll do this tomorrow. We don't have time. Alright. Uh, that kinda grew on me as it went on. Ooh. Oh, I don't like the little cape. Pretty good, but I don't I don't like the little cape. Let's put this on for a while. Okay, let's see if we can find a boss real quick. What does this one do? Okay. Up. Down! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Does his nose grow? Uh, there's a painting of him that his nose grows. I I'm not going back. Why are you so tall? I'm sick of consuming ergo. It's cruel. 
There's real meals and real songs out there. I'm not just a memory reading tool. What? You're not the inspector? But if you're from the outside, that means we can leave. Does it? Thanks. I know the way out, so don't worry about me. Maybe I'll see you on the outside. Uh, dude, it sounds like you just could have left. I can read memories of Ergo. That's what I was made for. Okay. Ergo is crystallized time and memory. But God, I hate having to consume Ergo to read it. Why does it work like that? It's the worst. I can read memories, but I can't even dream of tastes, smells, or songs. I can't oh, stand it the rings. anymore. So I'm escaping. When I get out, I'm going straight to Rosa Isabel Street. Okay, I wonder what happens if we go visit him. Alright, this has to be a boss, right? Has to be a boss. Let's go. It would be nice if there was a checkpoint before the boss. <gasps> Wait, what? This is a bit right. No, I didn't recognize where I was. What do you mean the game is doing a bit? Did I go the wrong way? Was there another door down there? The elevator before you jumped off takes you up. Yeah, I, I know there's still some areas to explore, but I thought that was a way back up to unlock a different shortcut. I didn't think this was a way to unlock a shortcut. Oh, this dude respawns. That's, uh... Interesting. So we're gonna kill this butterfly, we're gonna turn around a corner, and if the fucking boss is in here, then then that's the end of the stream. I can't push on more. A shortcut here. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. And the boss is up here for sure. This time for sure. I'm gonna see one of those things to for NPC summons right now. No. No. Really? Who are you? Hi, Matt. Whoa. Is that you? Wow. You're really something. Seriously, that's impressive. How did you follow me all the way here? Fighting is always my last choice, you know? But you're not getting anywhere near my sister, friend. You'll have to go through me oh, first. Oh, okay. And I actually thought we were friends. Was any of that true? It was, yes. In the end, I really don't care. There's only one reason we were given a mission. I'll let you go if you give me gold coin fruit. Uh, yeah, sure, here, have one. <laughs> I had a feeling we might eventually see eye to eye. I like you. Don't trust you yet, but I'm a cat. I'm slow to trust. <sighs> I'm sick of it. I'm sick of Krat. Sick to death of just surviving. Hurting, stealing, kidnapping. Surviving. When the hell does it end? My sister and I are going to leave for a different city. Get my eyesight back. A fresh new start as a family. And you have to know, that old man, Geppetto, is safe. We were never gonna hurt him. So please, just let my sister go. Ultimately, we, we want the same thing. 
Yeah, okay, that's fine. Yeah, sure. This, this whole room was just for a fight with him? Okay, it seems like we're gonna go talk to the sister now, too. Oh no, ladder! No! All right, here we go. There's more, okay, we're done. We're done, chat, we're done. I have to call it, I'm sorry. I can't, like, it looks like there might be another little area for the boss. I really want to see the boss, but that's it, I'm sorry. You're done. You're done, you're done, you're done. Okay, um, like, yeah, I'm really over time. I'm sorry, I can't even, I don't, I can't even set up the raid. I'm sorry, we're just, we're just gonna have to go. See you later, see you tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow's stream not guaranteed. I might have to, uh, sleep. I don't know, we'll see. But if I'm awake and I can go, then I will stream and we'll try and finish the game tomorrow. Anyway, see you later, chat. Thanks for watching. Screw your 400 monocoin bonus from raiding. Screw it, you don't get it, you don't get it. Dis 